guys, welcome to Angel Whispers. Vanessa here speaking, and today we have another pick a card reading, and this is your inner child messages for you. So, anyway, this is requested to me by Saint Gabriel and Saint Michael and Saint Haniel the Archangels because during this time you know our inner child is asking for help and it's because if it's overwhelming with regards to your work you could be workaholic and then your inner child is asking you to at least have some fun or either you lose your passion and your inner child wants to tell you what you need to do and so forth because as we all know if we embrace our inner child then our creativity will boost and also we may have some fun if we acknowledge what makes our inner child happy and then anyway for some people they're not really tackling into their inner child because could be of the adulthood and their responsibilities in life but take note guys you really need to have some fun okay just balance the work and the fun so you will not be attacked with regards to your mental health issue or even you know you may feel like you're not emotionally fulfilled now by acknowledging your inner child it will give you you know something that will uplift you so forgive the noise guys currently my throat chakra really hurt now is there anything else angels they say that's it so anyway we got eight balls here number one is a three of wands number two ace of wands number three strength number four is a three of pentacles number five is the fool number six is the queen of pentacles number seven the hangman and number eight is the page of cups choose wisely don't base it on your ego or else it may not resonate and let the card call in to you but if no pal is calling in then don't force yourself could be right now nothing resonates and you're doing a pretty good job with your inner child <laughs> okay and you healed your inner childhood issues can be so this is only for people who still struggles on finding themselves and hasn't healed that their inner child and so forth okay now is there anything else so they say that's it so anyway guys just post the video if you're not yet ready and i'll proceed now with number one hi guys for those who chose number one which is the three of one series you're reading so let's see what does your inner child wants to tell you number one now anyway here is the overall theme you got go create actually my head hurts in the beginning higher power serendipity and as well as happy happy so we'll check with your other cards what it has to say i'm sensing like some of you could be thinking oh my inner child is angry at me <laughs> angels and guides please provide guidance to the cards so we may know what does the inner child of number one wants to tell them another they tell me and one more they say so We'll see. <laughs> One more. So the angels say to me that actually um past is past. The angels say don't dim your light with whatever had happened to you in the past. I don't know why I also sense past life. So anyway, let's see with your tarot. Angels and guides, please provide guidance to the cards. So we may know what does the inner child of number one wants to tell them. Another so we'll see <clears throat> oh 
Oh dear. <laughs> Your inner child wants to talk. Uh -huh, that's a lot. Come on. <laughs> Suddenly my soul chakra hurt. Probably you're not allowing your inner child to <clears throat> speak your mind or be what they call this. Um, feel like you're preventing to listen to your inner child. Like you're trying to force yourself to be an adult, but yet deep inside you're a child within. Like you want to enjoy your life, you want to discover more, but yet you are forbidden to do so. And that's the reason why I sense it in my throat chakra. So anyway, this is the overall energy that's affecting the reading. So what is the outcome? So I feel like your inner child is actually sad. Honestly speaking, yeah, always want to discover. Look at how the gesture is, okay? <clears throat> now we will see. We will clarify angels and guides. Please provide guidance to the cards. So we may know what's behind the cards presented here. Please help us clarify so we may be able to understand. Thank you. Another. They say. I feel like for you, if ever you tackle in with your inner child before other people, you're bis misbehaving, okay? And that's the reason why you don't really acknowledge your inner child, number one. Another. I don't know why I'm sensing Genshin Impact. I feel like for some of you, you could want to play a game. Um, but yet you can't do that because you're busy at work. And um, if you don't know what Genshin Impact is, it's a kind of on mobile or PC game. Wherein if you play that game, it may take hours for you to, to you know, play it. As it's addictive and actually I got addicted to it when I first um, tried that honestly and then I realized that it's eating up my time so I tried to ignore that game <laughs> anyway so this is the overall energy that's affecting the reading so what we got here is a chariot so I feel like your inner child want to say to you that you're always on the go that you forgot to mend your inner child or you forgot to to heal yourself there's sadness in you that you need to release for some of you you could have inner child issues you could be married early and then you forgot to enjoy life okay you could be thinking like you should work you should be um have some responsibility at home can be you know anyway as years goes by i feel like this is how you're feeling so your inner child knows that sometimes you like childish stuff but that could be adults around you or people around you don't want you to discover or to have this um indulgement in your life but in your two of swords here so your inner child says that you're aware that this is what you like to do okay you you're aware about what it is that you want and your inner child say actually you can free yourself from people's judgments you can have some time to make yourself happy that's what your inner child say go after you know what you want and don't mind about what others will say to you because you know, the angels say to me, your inner child is actually look at the lover's reverse. Like, you lack self-love for yourself because you always think of recognition of others. You always want to, you know, prove yourself to people, take responsibility, that you forgot to enjoy your life, okay? You could be stressful with your work, with your responsibilities, 
and your inner child says you're living in a lie okay why did your inner child say that could be you guys loves to post like you're having fun you could be you know doing your work you could be um let's say having nice what they call this nice clothes or jewelry whatever it is but that your inner child is not happy okay you could indulge and post it in social media but yet your inner child said that you know it's not enough you need to pamper yourself you need to this time around you know um don't don't focus on um the material wealth because there's more to that because with regards to your emotions you feel like there's a lack yes you may have the money you may have the title etc but you're lacking the cups you're lacking the emotional fulfillment so that's the reason why you feel very depressed sometimes you feel very emotional with the queen of cups being here your inner child look at the face of your inner child your inner child yeah you're right is sad it's terrified it's not really happy emotionally and you feel very depressed because you lack enjoyment in your life okay so your inner child says that it's okay that sometimes you rest because you could be a go-getter person you could be always on the go you could always um at work you know and you forgot to love your life you forgot to embrace your inner child honestly some of us our inner child can be our passions can be our creative and divorce whatever makes you happy in a good sense okay not something bad don't, not drinking not like that um like your simple talent could be in arts can be so then your inner child wants you to embrace those things because it will keep you happy okay in a good way you're being creative too and i have a feeling here that your inner child wants to work with you i feel like your inner child gave you some ideas could be craft ideas or arts can be or even poetry the angels say because you know your inner child can say that it will make you happy and at the same time it can bring home the money but yet i feel like with the ace of cups you're not really embracing it you could be living in this you know toxic world situation that you forgot to chill so you could be living in a harmony i don't know why a sense is um kind of emerald here but what they say is that yeah you already have the money but are you really enjoying the money are you really you know happy with your life because you forgot to you know could be you're a people pleaser that you forgot to love yourself you forgot to give for yourself could be you keep on giving the money on those people that you forgot to you know at least give some for yourself and remember guys okay in giving let's say gifts money whatever you need to also save something for yourself because in case of that you need let's say something for emergency at least you have something to grab on rather than ask people for something right so remember to save okay and then the next is this one so i think that your inner child wants to go out <laughs> i know that it's quarantine for some of you because i'm filming this during quarantine period during the um, pandemic times okay could be your inner child wants to get out could be your work is work from home you know that you forgot to go outside but your inner child says hey you need you need some sunshine you need fresh air that's what your inner child say because you're overworking and you feel like depressed and worry because the angels say all your years you have been working that you forgot you know to at least explore what else out there you know you know what i can say is that there's more into life than you know career and then love life also so you need to balance out yourself 
Okay, because the angels say if you're too focused on career, okay, you could be workaholic. For some of you, could be there could be a strong Virgo in your chart, right? And it's pushing you to work, work, work. Okay, or a strong Earth a sign that you forgot to at least you know have some time to go outside. If ever it's pandemic, the angels say um, it's okay to stay at home. But your inner child just want to say to you, hey, explore something else. <laughs> okay, sometimes chill. Sometimes you have to relax. Sometimes you have to love yourself. You know, and with the moon in reverse, I feel like you are aware. Because someone is in reverse, you're aware that you're sad. You're aware that you want to stop your job. You want to chill, okay? So the next is the page of swords. So I'm sensing here that this could be your um what you're doing. Okay, your inner chat is saying to you that could be people will judge you as deceitful if ever you express yourself. So your inner child says it's okay to express yourself. And you need to know that people pleasing will drain you. Okay, and people whatever you do they will judge okay whether you're a good person or not there's always people will judge you who will be your hater who will be jealous whatever so don't be fearful of those things your inner child say and do whatever makes you happy go after what you want as long as it's not hurtful so anyway this is the next thing so your inner child also want to say to you that some people are really draining your energy, okay? That that's the reason why you're not really standing in your power or that's the reason why you could feel very drained, okay? And some of your friends could be our colleagues or even at home could be using you, okay? That you're not really standing in your power, like you're following them okay to the point that you were weakened that you forgot to you know somehow listen to yourself what it is that you need okay because you always get these people what they want that you forgot yourself so your inner child say take some time at least to remove this negative vibe that these people has given to you try to at least indulge yourself or meditate they say or chill okay relax when you feel like you're tired already from work okay so for some of you you could also have okay i don't know why these cards are together but they don't have clarifiers so i would just clarify okay they are clarifiers sorry i got i got confused so <laughs> me is bad so because see their drawing is the same so anyway so we got the sight of pentacles so what we got here is that yeah you could be working very hard that i feel like some of the people that you please could be somebody that don't really give towards you you could be giving but that the other is not giving and you know your inner child say to leave people that don't really care for you okay and don't over please them could be you're pleasing somebody because you want this person to acknowledge you but what your inner child say that that person is not a good person for you that person doesn't give what you deserve whatever you do this person is not pleased by you this person will not um look at you even okay it's just neglecting you so for some of you it could be about love connection too or some of your friends that's not really a true friend to you so i feel like your inner child also wants you to be watchful on people okay watch their actions and see if they're really true friends or not okay or they're really there for you because your inner child, as you can see here, your inner child is sad to see you being heartbroken because some people didn't treat you well. And people see you as someone who has the money. And I think that most of you <coughs> could be mistreated. 
could be people are using you for money you could be working hard and yet people are just stealing something from you and your inner child say um, put some healthy boundaries and be strong for yourself defend yourself because we have the strength here okay and what they want you to do is okay i feel like you have to speak your mind if people are really abusing you you really have to okay because i feel like it's also causing you stress anxiety and worry because you're so worried of others what they're gonna say so my inner child is teaching you not to give towards the greedy and also to set up healthy boundaries to fight for yourself sometimes to if ever people are abusing you you have to tell them enough is enough you know don't feed the snakes that's what your inner child is saying because honestly you're hurting yourself they they are eating only your your vibe you know your energy your money to the point that you forgot yourself okay so this is the outcome so for an outcome we got the magician here and as well as this one so i feel here that yeah you're a good manifester of money but the sad part is that when you got the money you you give you give your money away and the sad based on your reading you know you could be giving it to the wrong people so what your inner child is saying that you work hard for your money and so you know you must spend your money on the right things and know how to save your money because some of you are not saving your money you're just giving and giving to others so with this knight of swords so your inner child also want to say to you to ignore people that are really nasty that are really greedy controlling manipulative that's not really healthy for you because i see here that something is causing you stress i feel like it's more likely people around you is causing you this kind of stress or could be work okay could be your overwork can be as well so if ever that is a case situation your inner child say that you have to remember yourself you have to indulge yourself and that's the reason why you feel very depressed you could be longing for some childish stuff but that you could be refusing to acknowledge it because you know people might think negatively about you okay honestly speaking some people that are really traditional will think negatively honestly speaking because they themselves could be somebody who mm, thinks that as an adult or let's say young adult you know you shouldn't do this and that and that's the reason why some people are ended up being grumpy because they can run after whatever they want because people will think negatively of them so what your inner chats is saying that as long as you're not hurting yourself hurting others it's okay okay and yeah indulge yourself in a good way not in a bad way like example could be you felt drawn to dolls <laughs> because honestly last year i felt drawn to dolls and i was heartbroken so i was able to buy a doll and honestly that doll really cured me okay now i'm not having that doll anymore and i don't know if you've seen that doll with black hair um actually that really cured me and it's really a memorable doll for me and now i'm not um using that because i'm healed okay so sometimes you really do have to acknowledge those kind of childish stuff because it will bring joy to you it will help you heal it will help you focus on you know the things that you love rather than something that is really hurtful towards you and your inner child says actually you're very lucky with regards to your career okay and you have to enjoy at least the joy of you know having these blessings and be thankful to the divine that you have this they say and your inner child says that you're very lucky um the wishes that you will ask will f be fulfilled like you are a magician you know and whatever yeah you wish for will will be come to fruition or whatever you manifest will come 
and your inner child wants you to love yourself because you could be somebody also if it's about love connection because i see here that somebody could be indulging a lover okay or your crush but that your crush not giving what you deserve and this crush of yours is ignoring you so your child um inner child say that if ever you're in love and that person is not receptive they say be the runner okay it's not time to get your energy back if this person don't reply back to you don't give you a sign that they like you too then why not you know heal yourself right and think that could be that person's not interested that's why he or she is not even receptive of your love so give them some air to breathe instead of forcing them to choose you right because i feel like in your case situation number one you already gave right you already give this person a sign that you like them whatever okay and remember is that people has free will um of course it hurts if they didn't choose us and that's why your inner child says chill because if something will happen of course it will break your world apart because if you focus too much on that person the angels say if you got heartbroken of course your world will deem so what they want you to do is to at least love yourself and avoid pleasing others because it's also the reason why you're stuck and also the reason why you can't save money because could be you over give to others that you forgot to save something for yourself and what they also want you to do is that you need to leave people that are not really healthy with your life okay that are really draining you because i do see here that some of you feel like you could be in a toxic group situation or work situation you could be left in a cold you could be trying to please somebody you know and but they have favoritism you know and that's the reason why they're asking you hey stop doing that stop pleasing others if they're not pleased with you then let them be okay because if they like you they will right so don't put much effort on it and try to at least love yourself and learn how to be independent and embrace yourself if no one likes you then start loving yourself because i do see that you have a potential could be you're pleasing others to get promotion um don't overwork the angels say because honestly it will come if you deserve it okay you don't have to be like the politicians that you know when the election comes in that is when they take actions oh my gosh that's that's not good you know why not work because that is your work because that is your job right so focus on it that's what i'm gonna ask of you to do so anyway with this one your inner child says you're so serious <laughs> that you forgot to have some fun and then with a mirror here so your inner child say that you have seen the signs you have the power to see people whom they really are and your inner child says observe others because you could be people pleasing um you could be pleasing people that are not really your soul tribe that's not really good towards you so make sure to give to the right people anyway so okay it keeps on repeating about people pleasing sorry it may annoy you but it keeps on coming and coming so anyway with this one i do see here that your inner child say you're unique you don't have to mind others mindset or thoughts okay because everyone is unique you don't have to compare yourself to others and your inner child say that you can see um the negative side of people you could know deep within you that this individual here is could be deceiving could be an energy vampire and so forth it's because it is true and 
these people could be trying to control you to take advantage of you so be careful about it and your inner child also say that that's another reason why you're stuck you have a lot of anchor sign here which means that you're really stuck okay and what you need to do right now is to look within and to take some time out to check your life because you could be somebody that's working and working yes you're earning money but that you feel unfulfilled and that's why self-discovery is important and you have some you need some hermit time to do the angels say because i feel like for some of you you could be somebody who is very submissive of others you could be making people like the emperor or empress and you are the follower but that in reality you can be um, somebody who can take the wheel of your life so make sure that you are really fulfilling yourself not of others but yourself the angels say because i feel like you are gifted of a lot of things you just need to let go of old patterns and see the reason why you're not earning anything okay and start a new beginning for yourself because honestly your inner child really is longing for love longing for you know rest even because you could be stressed on where you're at whether it's at home um could be family situation could be work situation that you have to fight for promotion it just keeps on repeating and i feel like that's the reason why you feel like your inner child is angry at you could be because your life is repetitive cycle of like that like you forgot to enjoy you forgot to be happy and yeah your inner child say it's up to you if you want to unlock the door towards happiness and joy and follow what makes you happy that's what your inner child say and the right people will co-create with you the right people will understand you why you're following your joy and happiness because they are in tune with your inner child those people who will understand you knows how important it was to balance the work and the play okay and those people who don't really resonate with you obviously will not understand you honestly so remember that not all people can understand us and we are unique human beings here so go after which resonates with you so we got the three of wands being here so you could be somebody who wants a vacation so your inner child say um after this quarantine you know go and look for a vacation at least enjoy your money your hard-earned cash and of course create your foundation your inner child say especially if you could be giving and giving to others okay so this is the next card you got to practice polish your skills by practicing regularly so this could be you you could be a workaholic as in and your inner child say hey relax <laughs> you could be working and working okay sometimes you need to chill okay so I will suggest guys that you yeah, take some time out for yourself to indulge yourself to make yourself happy okay because there's could be a tendency that you could not be loving yourself okay so but don't overindulge they say just you know to do something for fun whenever you feel sad whenever you feel tired just rest okay that's what they want you to do so is there anything else angels they thought that's it so anyway thank you for watching those who chose number one and sending you all peace love and light bye guys for those who chose number two which is the ace of wands here is your reading <coughs> so let's see what does your inner child wants to tell you number two so this is the overall theme you got the tribe you also got the yin i don't know why i'm sensing tower moment but let's see because i feel like i'm kind of nostalgic when i handle your pile 
um, but let's check. Angels and guides, please provide guidance to the cards. So we may be able to know what does the inner child of number two wants to tell them. I don't know why I'm sensing naga ensayo, which means practicing. Um, you could be enhancing your skill. I feel like you've gone through a lot of drama, pain in your life. Oh dear, even the cards flow. Anyway, let's see. Angels and guides, please provide guidance to the cards so we may know what does the inner child of number two wants to tell them. You know what? It, it rained lately. And then sun, suddenly the sun rises again. Very interesting. Probably it has a connection with your life. Like after these tower moments, there will be finally joy. And I do see here that your inner child do wants you to be happy. So we got the Ace of Wands. Um, especially if you've gone through a lot, you really need healing work to do. Or you need to indulge yourself even more. Because you deserve it. And now we will clarify the cards. Angels and guides, please provide guidance to the cards. So we may know. What's behind the cards presented here? Please help us clarify so we may be able to understand. Another. I feel like you have a playful inner child. <laughs> you could be stressed out sometimes with your inner child because you could be a joyous person and some people don't like it. And I feel like you try to cool down. Um, but yet I feel like people do like you because you're really playful, you're energetic too, and you're a laughter loving person. You're lovable too. You're incapable of giving. Like your inner child is deep within you. I feel like you really acknowledge your inner child. And because of that, I feel like you live a happy life. Like despite of all that had happened, I feel like you could be in a twin flame journey number two that's why life has been very difficult for you or you're stressed out with the connections at home office life whatever so anyway so this is the overall energy that's affecting the reading so we got the ace of one so your inner child wants to tell you that you really need some time to heal because during this time with this queen of swords in reverse you can't think straight like could be your thoughts is up in the air you know you want to do certain thing that makes you happy but you can't because you always think of being productive but that your inner child say you need some time to help yourself like okay? help yourself to be happy to nurture yourself even more take a break okay so inner child says as well so this is the first card that you have a lot of capabilities and i feel like people see you as a high priestess you have followers okay and i feel like because you're the high priestess you could be an empath you could be sensing the energies of people and if ever you sense something negative or you give off your energy towards the lowly people you know you have a tendency to be trained and that's the reason why your inner child says it's not your fault if you don't have your thoughts straight it's just because your energy was drained and if ever you feel that way you need some time to rest or do something that uplifts you up then the next is i wonder why your inner child is always like in this position of reaching something even here okay and I'm sensing here that this could be your inner child and this could be you. So I'm sensing like with regards to your money. So your inner child say, why not indulge your money? Okay, um, because you could be earning, but yet you're not really helping yourself to be happy. You're not using your money to for yourself. You could be giving to others, okay? Could be you're worried of money, that's why you don't spend your money but yet the angels say it's okay 
to spend your money on yourself <clears throat> and not always on others not always on the savings sometimes you have to at least you know taste the fruits of your labor and it will also energize you on earning more because you're tasting the fruits of your labor okay so the next thing that we got here is this so your inner child says hang out with your friends because it will make you happy because i feel like you could be somebody who's really drained with this page of cups in the rivers you could have people around you that's really a drainy vibe okay and you really need to be with your friends you need to be people with uplifting energy okay could be within this week or the other week you could experience that some people are trying to tell you hey hang out with me <laughs> it's because i feel like they're being caught on by the divine to you know help you to help you be happy again because you have been um focusing on your work too much you overwork yourself it's now time for you to be happy okay because it will also help you you know to be in the high vibe to be happy again because i feel like yeah you really have a playful inner child <laughs> okay i feel like your inner child wants you also to be in a hermit mode honestly even though this is not the hermit card i do sense it's kind of like that okay your inner child says that it's okay if you will be in a hermit mode if you can go out again i'm sorry if you can go out with your friends yet okay due to the pandemic so if ever that's okay situation your inner child says you can be happy even on your own rather than being with people that's really draining toxic manipulative so the inner child say hide away from people that are draining you that's not really making you happy focus on the things that makes you happy not on something that makes you feel sad and you don't have to over give to others you don't have to over please people because sometimes you forgot yourself if you do that okay your inner child wants you to care for yourself even more um even though you acknowledge your inner child i really see here that you have a healthy inner child and your inner child is really helping you number two okay and to be happy see you really have a happy inner child <laughs> so your inner child says that it's okay to wander around i feel like your inner child really wants you to go out on a vacation hang out with your friends um it is death in reverse so yeah then wonder why i'm sensing tower moment um even though it's death card i feel like it's more likely you overcome something okay of course it's been a difficult period because of the awakening process and it's now time for you to chill <laughs> okay because you did all the work already so i feel like the divine is congratulating you and also giving you money because i also sense here that there there is a money card here as well but yet they are saying to you that you offer give to others why not give to yourself okay you already done a lot of things for this world oh dear let's see what we got okay this is a part of it i thought that you only have one um one outcome yeah you have been through a lot of tower moment and could be as well that people around you is not healthy for you and that's why you really feel drained and the angels say chill outside okay um i feel like your inner child is really supportive of you i don't really feel like you have an angry inner child honestly okay now let's see forgive the noise guys i opened the windows because i like as um i light a palo santo in my room so i just try to get our um what they call this get the, <laughs> the fresh air outside okay another so we'll see what we have here so these are your charms so for the charms so inner child say that you do have a good heart you have been given towards other people and suddenly there's dogs barking so yeah could be you have been through a lot of stressful time 
honestly speaking and i really feel like you feel uncomfortable with other people that surround you could be they're not really welcoming with your energy okay and anyway with this one so you could already have a title you could have a youtube channel for some of you you could be working hard already like i feel like since you work hard for your money you will earn it okay and so for some of you you will have a promotion or you will be known um or i feel like yeah accelerate could be if ever you don't have a job you will have it okay um i really sense here that your soul is ascending so your inner child say that since you're awakened you're ascended it's all time to celebrate it's all time to be happy you know it's okay to be happy it's okay to have some time for chill you know because i feel like you have been very sweet of others and with this mirror um, being here so i feel like you've been shown um about the people around you so you'll be aware more really um people that are good for you versus the not and i feel like yeah that's also the reason why you feel depressed during this time because could be you know something um that's really hurtful like example you have a friend that you have a friend for a long time and then suddenly the divine made you see that that person is not a good friend of course it will hurt you especially if you know you have memories together and you have to you know walk away from that person because that person is not healthy for you like it happens when we accelerate that honestly in terms of spirituality um like we can see people in a different light if before we are on the same level as they are but then when we accelerate we realize that they are not our soul tribe so we we got awakened in the reality it's like a child you know they're growing up and they can't um they can't wear something that doesn't fit them anymore kind of thing you can still wear that if you know they still resonate with you when you grow up so that's a thing that's happening like we are being removed from people that is not um on the same level and that's why the energy is so heavy or so depressed you're very emotional these days because you are changing okay in a drastic level but in a good way okay so don't be fooled of your thoughts uh, your inner child says sometimes your thoughts may say that you're evil that you didn't do this and that or you didn't give to others and so forth but your inner child says hey chill you know you have been given a lot you are a sweet person you are a good soul so why not take some time to chill to be happy okay and to nurture yourself this time because the angels say you could be forgotten forgotten yourself okay now anyway this is the cards that we got so some of you you could have um evil people around you or people that are draining your energy your money and i really feel here that some of you could have lost your interest could have lost your passion you could feel um very lazy it's not because of you because your inner child say that some people are really draining your energy and that's why your inner child say um if ever you feel that way that people around you are draining your energy then it's not time for you to be in a hermit like try to distance yourself from negative people and try to work on your own and that's why the inner child wants you to reconnect with people that really do vibes with you and yeah your friends are being called on to be with you i feel so that you will be happy again so you may receive some invite and suddenly there's noises outside with when i speak of friends probably that's the reason why you have to be with your friends or real friends okay um because that will always makes you happy to be with the right people because could be you have been in a hermit mode for a long time 
is that you're not social anymore. You could not be a social butterfly, but still you need someone to talk to. Okay, or to hang out with. So yeah, with the tribe and with the yin. So if you hang out with your friends, your inner child say that they will be happy. Like they will give to you. Um, I feel like you will enjoy being with them. Because with the ace of wands, I think your inner child is saying to you. Um, go, you're a go-getter can be. And you always been focused in your career. You could be charismatic too. And yeah, you have passion with regards to your career. But yet, look at the leaves. It's falling down. Like, um, you need some watering. <laughs> okay, to do. But I would say that, guys, nurture yourself. Okay, because that is your vehicle. And if ever you were, let's say, your body give in, you can't do anything, right? So, it's all time, guys, to chill, to relax, and... You know, enjoy the fruits of your labor, hang out with your friends. You know, you have been through a lot of tough times. And I feel like the divine, as you observe, can be um, giving you money or sudden wealth is coming in. And you don't know why. It's because the divine wants you to nurture yourself. Wants you to finally, let's say, buy something for yourself. You could be somebody who usually buys stuff for others. Or helping other people um, I think that the divine is really happy for you because you have been a good light worker you have been giving towards others and I feel like now you it's now time for you to reap the rewards or the fruits of your labor and let go walk away from this situation in order to resolve it so if ever you really do have conflict with others or people really drain your money your energy whatever it was so whomever is toxic for you it's all time for you to let go but well, some of you just encounter tower moments and you release a lot of people in your life and now you're drained because you have been crying you have been very sad and now your inner child say focus on what makes you happy i feel like you will be more creative during this time because you are sad okay and be with the right people and let go of those people that are not really serving you that really makes you feel hurt and that's really funny number two because we heard a lot of noises in your reading <laughs> very rare to happen guys anyway Probably your life is really complicated or you're overwhelmed with stress with a lot of things to do. And yeah, your inner child wants you to balance work and play. But I feel like this time around, they're asking you to have some time for play. Because you have been working and working and working that you forgot to take good care of yourself. Okay, now is there anything else? Later, that's it. So anyway, thank you for watching. Those who chose number two. And sending you all peace, love, and light. Bye. Hey guys, for those who chose number three, which is the strength card, here is your reading. So let's see. What does your inner child wants to tell you number three? So this is the overall theme of this reading. You got our fund. And... I don't know why I feel like this wanna turn in reverse, but it wanna turn in upright as well. But let's see why. Okay. One more for what, angels? Okay, it's okay. Angels and guides, please provide guidance to the cards so we may be able to know. What does your inner child want to tell you, number three? I'm not sure why I'm sensing like it's kind of like a karma reading. One more for what, angels? Is this the theme? The angels say no. Okay. I feel like your inner child is manifesting something. I feel like because you're gone through a lot in this lifetime. Sounds like number two, but in a different sense. Like it could be less a loved one. It could be a third party situation too. Like you're left in the cold. Somebody goes that you can be. 
Okay, just like what resonates. Let's see. Oh, look at that, the cards. Anyway, let's check. Angels and guides. Please provide guidance to the cards. So, we may be able to know what does the inner child of number three wants to say. I feel like as well unapologetic. Another. So, let's see. I don't know why I'm sensing as well judgmental people. And suddenly my heart pumped deeply. That's why I'm got confused lately. Like I want I don't know what they're asking that I need to pull. Um anyway, so let's see. This is the overall energy that's affecting the reading and that's in either way they say. So what is the outcome? I'm gonna clarify the cards. Oh, suddenly the cards fell on my side, but I will get it later. Angels and guides, please provide guidance to the cards. So we may know what's behind the cards presented here. This help us clarify so we may be able to understand. To be honest, my left hand hurts. I feel like some people around you are upset or could be jealous of you too. It could be having a draining energy. Could be you're somebody that's very different from people around you. And you're aware. I feel like you want to escape because what happened to my cards on my side, they fell when I get this card. Um, so I'm not gonna grab it while I'm reading yours because it's not a part of your reading but that could be a sign that you really want to reach out on somebody you really want I feel like somebody from the other side wants to help you you could be dreaming about people that is away from you people that could have passed away as well and some guides as well if ever not let's say someone who died and I feel like as well you're upset because suddenly my right hand hurts. So there are people that I don't know why they're upset of you. I don't know if they're jealous, but you as well, you're, you're sad. You have this negative energy could be with regards to these people. Probably I reminded you guys about it. And that's why suddenly when I shuffled the cards, my right hand became hurting because i'm sensing your energy like you're upset with these people so you could be dealing with people that are really greedy or could be wanting you for something I feel like sexual harassment is i feel for some of you and i feel like if ever you're being harassed and so forth you really have to let go and this is an easier way so i have a feeling here yeah, this per these people are really draining you. I feel like you're trying to run away from them or control, but they always, I feel like they're around you. Okay, let's see what we have here. So this is the first card that we got. I really feel like harassment for some of you. I'm really sorry if the topic starts to be sensitive, but this is what I feel for some of you. Or you could be abused with regards to your kindness. There's a lot of abuse that's about here. So I really do see that some of you, this could be about work situation, family situation, just like harassment in work. And I'm sensing here that I really feel like you really want to change your location or you want to run away to, um, from your household. Um, but yet you don't know how to do it. I really do see here that I feel like people are forcing you to follow whatever that they're asking you to do and you're not really comfortable. It's really against, I feel like it's against the law. And when I hold this card, my right hand hurt, to be honest. So why we don't have clarifiers for that? So I'll just give it a clarifier. 
Um, you know what? I suddenly feel um some names, okay, with these cards. Um, my batchmate's name came to my mind, but yet I don't know what's going on with her. Anyway, wherever she is, I hope she is, you know, will able to get out of this, okay? It could be, it about resonated too. Anyway, so with this one, Queen of Swords. So I really feel like you really want, you're daydreaming of leaving. But I feel like you are aware as well that it's not at a time you have to stay where you're at because during the pandemic could be that's why you're stuck on where you're at okay so with the judgment reverse and the seven of ones i really do feel like you could be arguing or you could be trying to stop these people from doing bad things on you but with the judge in reverse you're being judged by them could be you're starting to be rebellious or you're starting to realize that what they're doing is wrong but yet you're sad that you can't get out yet because of the pandemic okay or if this is about job situation you could still be searching for a new job for you so i feel like for some of you if you you fight or argue with these people they are judging you in a wrong way and no wonder why i sense suddenly my left hand hurts because I feel like yeah, these people got upset of you because you fight with them. So your inner child is trying to tell you that, you know, just feel like you could be stressed out with the money or you don't know, um, you're not financially stable. I feel like um, I'm sensing here that, yeah, you really want to remove yourself from these people could be they are really controlling you and you're trying to see your savings you're trying to see if you can be able to get out and but you will one day with this four of cups because i feel like the divine is guiding you i feel like you're really stressed out by these people could be you're being watched um could be really a family situation but i feel like you're being guided to do well could be at school to do well at work to save so that you can be able to get out so that's your inner child is trying to say that right now you could be into work you could be focusing too much on your coins on work because you have to use that one day so right now there's no play i feel because even your reading is so serious i don't feel like you have even time for play because you're really afraid look at that you're afraid of people around you because i really feel like i don't know why i sense rapey suddenly so king of cups reverse and I feel like you could be afraid of losing your job or your home situation and you're just, you're too focused on it and the negativity at work. So I think that it, it became with a king of cups, a lot of emotions was in you. You really have to cry. That's also what your inner child say, like because some, a lot of things has happened already and sometimes you could be afraid to burst into tears um yeah you're a bit scared of people around you so you really need to heal your trauma that's also what they say i feel like um somebody around you could be playing like a boss like make you follow things make you do something and you're not really healthy about it because we see it here being watched okay so the next thing that we got is this king of cups so what your inner child is trying to tell is that try to love yourself if you have a chance and be watchful of people around you and i'm sensing like one day you will be free so this totally reminds me of free will so you could be daydreaming or you could be having dreams that you will go out one day but you just need to calm down and um i feel like you really want a stress-free environment because i feel like with this night of once being in reverse you're, you're not really that passionate about your life but yet i feel like what their inner child say that um 
try to keep cool despite of what's happening around you and try to observe people around you whom why are they like that like i feel like try to observe them because there will be a clue on how you'll be able to get out um they say to me so the next thing that we got here is this one so i don't know why in the beginning i feel like karma reading let's see what it is so i do see here that yeah somebody really is trying to stress you out okay see that with this hung unicorn here yeah karma will hit this person one day for doing this to you for being you give with the emperor river so this person will lose power will lose money okay and your inner child i feel here is not really that what they call this is that bugging you okay i feel like your inner child will understand if you're not tapped into the inner child that you have but your inner child say you have to cry out because you have been through a lot and that really cause um depression that cause internal woundings and um heal also your traumas know that you can stand in your power one day and i feel like somebody will help you to to get out of this connection i do see here that if ever you report it to the police you'll be able to be saved but in the right timing because some of you this could be work related and you you could be needing to earn more money so that if you try to find another job you have money while you're searching for a job so don't ever rush into finding a job right away so know that whomever is doing this to you um it will backfire on him or her one day that one day you know this person will not stand in his or her power will not be able to dominate over others somebody will steal their money that's also what i what i get so inner child say to me so this is the outcome is that okay work silently because somebody is really watching over you honestly speaking and don't really expose your plans for the future because this person will totally stop you will drain you will do the best that they can to keep you stuck on where you're at okay now anyway let's see with your charms what we have here and really my head hurts so um i'm really feeling like okay you could be tired of drama could be this person these people are giving you drama I feel like it could be for many of you, it could be family situation. I don't really feel like it could be about friends, but for some of you, it could be about friendship too. Another, I feel like material gain as well. A lot of channeled messages. Another. So anyway, these are your charms. So for the charms that we got here is that the angels are telling you to remain to be a good person despite of what happened to you. And know that one day you'll be able to escape this. And they say when the timing is right, the divine will go to you to help you escape. That's what they want to say because that's also what happened to me. And I will say, guys, it may take long because in my case situation, I was able to escape my ex-husband nine years after. But during those times, the timing is just right because I have enough money so that I can be able to rent a house. That's why your inner child say you have to work. You have to be patient, save some money when you finally have work, okay? And the divine is really guiding you on what to do. And with this one, I do see that, yeah, you will do great with regards to studies or work. I feel like you're very intellectual, you're very wise, and at the same time, you have a good heart. But yet, it was attached to this, to this one. I feel like you really do have 
traumatic experience. I don't know why I'm sensing some of you could be with a fatherly figure kind of vibe thing or somebody that's more mature than you are and that's why you're being controlled. So what I want to say is that after you get out of this situation, you really have to cleanse yourself. You really have to heal your trauma, they say. And... You just wish, I feel like you could be wishing to get out one day. Yes, you will. They say to me, your wish will be granted. And I feel like for some of you, if ever, okay, that person who ever is controlling you will have a huge tower moment. If this is your boss, they say this person will lose their job, okay? They will get exposed of whatever they're doing. And if ever this is about family situation, they say that one day, you will gain a title you will be very lucky with money to the point that you'll be able to get out so whatever your plan is don't ever expose it to these people you know okay try to hide it because i feel like whomever this person is this person is a manipulative energy they could be trying to dim your light by their lies by giving you rumors and some sort but i feel like despite of them telling you lies i'm sensing here that you know yourself already you know what you're incapable of and try to focus on it guys and also money making too and don't mind whatever these people are doing or you know trying to brainwash your brain because that is all a lie and i feel like you really do have a good heart okay and i do see here that they really try to manipulate you with illusions but i feel like it's not working and with this one sweet could be they're trying to do something sweet towards you so that you may be able to stay so that you might be able to run away but yet i do see here that you really had enough i feel like you're really tired you're inner child would say that you really want to you really need to cry that's what your inner child say and care for yourself like spend some time alone away from these toxic people if you can and plan whatever you're planning is in your head don't ever tell it to anyone or else they will stop you it just repeats with the same message now anyway with these cards i'm sensing here like yeah, you're being watched by these people so what i want you to do is don't tell anyone because i feel like you're really lucky with regards to money making and people know that how lucky you are how precious you are why the divine is giving you money because one day you'll be able to get out okay you can do it i feel like you are divinely guided to do that on the right timing they say they will come towards you and say that it's now time and once that they say it's now time you have to do it guys I would say because when I escaped my ex-husband, you know, an angel came to me and say, pack your things and leave the house. I did as I, I was told. And to be honest with you, I was so surprised. Every door in that house is opened. It's not locked. So I was able to free myself and leave. That's what happened. And don't ever tell that's why i feel like what will happen to you it will be a surprise that you'll be able to get out because i feel like this is you could be right now like you really could be focusing on your studies and the divine is um feel like in your dreams you'll be able to escape i feel like you'll be from rags to riches could be i feel like a family member of yours could be using you could be trying to manipulate you to be what they call this to be accelerated or to be closer to you so that they can advantage they can take advantage of you one day that's what i feel here i feel like you're aware because you have dreams you're very intuitive and the divine is telling you as well what are the motives of these people i feel like you believe your dreams more than the people around you i feel like you're surrounded by a bunch of snakes okay that's really draining you so this is the 
card we got the orphan here so yeah your inner child is kind of saying that you really have to cry you need, really need some alone time to okay try to i feel like you need privacy as well because somebody is really controlling you manipulating you i'm not reading this by whatever words it has but the angels say that they are kind of sending you gifts from heaven like strength to okay to rise from the ashes and as well as the angels say don't be fooled by these people that's trying to manipulate you i really sense in sadness here that you really want to get out of this person's control but yeah this could be a karmic because i felt only number eight here okay or infinity symbol so it's also a symbolism of karmic honestly so it could be a karmic um connection um you'll be able to free because i see that there is a dandelion here you know and it really means that yeah your wish will be granted so focus on your work even more so you will enjoy later your inner child say even though you can't do it right now you will be happy one day and anyway this is your other card so you got nutrition and you also got an artist so the angels say that you're really a gifted person i feel like whatever you do you will grow okay you will make it you will make it work out so you could also be artistic so the angels say um you can express yourself by writing by doing artistic stuff the angels say and try to eat nutritious foods because you have to remain strong they say because i feel like for some of you you could be very tired you could be depressed to the point that you don't want to eat but you have to eat you have to take good care of yourself that's what they want you to know okay and if ever you're depressed i feel like you really need to tap in to whatever makes you happy okay like respect your inner child sometimes if your inner child you feel like you want to draw you want to play a guitar whatever you know um you need to acknowledge it so that you won't be overwhelmed by what's going on around you so is there anything else angels so the angels say to me that you will grow up one day and you will realize that you can be able to to get away from this situation the angels say because some of you could be still students you can't get out on where you're at one day you will and you have to trust yourself that you can do it okay don't ever give up there is always hope they say to me even though it hurts even though it's long you will be able to get out they say to me okay so is there anything else they say um, be prepared for the tower moment will happen sooner or later in the life of you the angels say but it's destined to happen so you'll be able to get out so it will be the angels say it will be okay i feel like a huge tower moment i don't know why but i feel like the divine could be angry at a person who's really kind of controlling you because i feel like it's not only you who is being controlled i feel like some people too around them are being controlled by this individual and they're also tired of this person so the huge tower moment i really feel like it could be coronavirus that will strike this person and yeah that's why i really feel like there could be a karma reading so this is what they're trying to tell you and you will be i feel like you will be like this like suddenly you will have that strength to fight for your freedom once that this happened okay like it will hit all of a sudden because this person is a bully okay so is there anything else they say um be prepared about it so you have to yeah have some strength you always have to pray to the divine to help you and they will guide you once that you know it happened and you don't know what will what to do 
just be strong, just have faith, don't give up. The angel said, you'll be able to get out of this situation. And whomever is controlling you, manipulating you, this individual here will be removed from the throne. That's what they want to say. Is there anything else? That's why we got emperor in reverse. So that's the karma of this person. This is a liar, I feel. A backstabber too. So be careful. Don't ever tell your plans to this individual or anyone around you. Because I don't really feel like there is somebody that you can trust right now. Um, aside from the divine. So I have a feeling here that it's God that that the will guide you to get out or your guides your ancestors okay now is there anything else they say that's it so anyway thank you for watching those who chose number three hugs to you all and send to you all peace love and light bye hi guys for those who chose number four which is a three of pentacles here is your reading so let's see what does your inner child wants to tell you number four so this is the overall and i feel like i wanna say energy theme of this reading you got milk and honey you also have a leg up and you got here and now so we will check what we got here Angels and guides, please provide guidance to the cards so you may be able to know. What does the inner child of number four wants to tell them? There's a lot of green in your cards. You could be somebody who needs healing work and my head really hurts. So you could always be up in your head. You could be somebody who's always staying up at night. You can't hardly speak. I'm sorry, sleep. You don't know why. I feel like you could be daydreaming about the past. You know, a lot of stuff is flying on your head. So I feel like your inner child want to say to you to try to be focused on your work. Be focused on what you do and don't be fooled by illusions around you. And I'm sensing as well that the angels are trying to make you as an introvert because you could be somebody who has been, you know, um, living in a perfect lie. That's also what they say. So be authentic um, because the angels say if something will happen, um, people will get confused. I thought this person is happy with somebody else and then suddenly they broke apart. Um, you get me? So anyway, here are your tarot angels and guides. Please provide guidance to the cards so we may know. I feel like this is also a reading about who is jealous of you. I wonder why I sense that as well. Angels and guides, please provide guidance to the cards so we may know. What does the inner child of number four wants to tell them? So, I really feel like mistakes. I feel like your inner child is working as your conscience, so they want to turn it in reverse. Honestly, in this reading, I don't really read um cards in reverse for this tarot but they asked me to turn it in reverse so yeah I, I will take it as reverse in your reading so this is the overall energy i really feel like for some of you this could be about your twin flame journey if ever this is about your twin flame it could be somebody who is some marrying someone else or you are undecisive with regards to love life and i really feel like your inner child is trying to warn you a lot of things like you are not happy with your current person and you could have met the one but you didn't choose it yeah and i really feel like why you can't sleep at night because your inner child is ask um acting as your conscience so i'm gonna clarify angels and guides please provide guidance to the cards 
So don't get involved yourself with the wrong people. That's also what they say. So we may know what's behind the cards presented here. Please help us clarify so we may be able to understand. So you could have money issues. You could be working very hard, but yet you're not having the money. That's also what I get here. You could be an introvert now because that is what you're being guided to do. Suddenly my hand is itchy. So could be money is coming in. But yet I don't feel like it's... You're gonna receive it right away because I feel like you're gonna give it to somebody. So anyway... Whomever this person that you're dating, this is a heartbreaker. I feel like for some of you, you notice it. Or for some of you, you haven't noticed it. So your inner child wanna say or giving you some warnings. That whomever that you're dealing with is somebody that is a heartbreaker, okay? And I feel like you're not seeing it now. And that's the reason why you have been stubborn that you stayed in this connection. And I feel like this person is just using you for money. And that's why I sense money is coming in but that I have a feeling that you're not gonna receive the money because you're gonna give it to somebody else so the next is the star here and the ace of swords so I really feel like whomever that you're dealing with your inner child say that person never is satisfied this person will just you know accept the gift that you give and then they will just throw it away and this person is a liar too it is ace of swords and the empress in reverse so whomever that you're dealing this is not a caring person empress are known as good mothers like they um they are resembling all the four queens okay so they're the highest among the queens and the empress okay if this is not a perfectly motherly figure then this person doesn't care this person is a narcissist i feel with the seven of cups i feel like you're loyal to this person okay that you currently have because you're in love but yet i really feel like this is your inner child reaction like your inner child don't like this person obviously look at the emotions or the facial expression of this cat and i'm sensing like yeah this person is trying to pretend to be sweet but that this person is not good for you so what will happen to you is that four of ones because i told you this is a heartbreaker person and then this person will cut you off because with the queen of ones being here this is a narcissist is this person you know i feel like eyeing on somebody else because look at how this queen of wands could be this is somebody who's sexy okay and can attract a lot of people and i'm really feeling here that this person is cheating and behind closed doors and you're not aware about it and this person is sniffing your money I gave you the skin of pentacles here. And with the sign of cups, I feel like you really pamper this person. But yet, it's going nowhere with the six of wands. So it's not a successful relationship. This person just after your money. And I feel like you're afraid to lose this person. Because you could have thought that this is your wish fulfillment but yet i don't really feel like it's not even making you happy because of the fact that yes you have work and could have good money but yet because you're too focused on this wrong person because you keep on pampering you forgot to save something for yourself your money so with regards to your career you're not that successful because you haven't saved anything for yourself or you wasn't able to taste or indulge with your own money so this is the outcome so for an outcome look at that so this person will eat up again your money so i feel like your inner child is upset about you not enjoying your money okay i feel like with the five of ones in reverse i feel like a lot of people actually say this to you but you're not listening so again in your reading you're being shown this okay so you may not invest on the wrong people okay and let's see what else we have here 
because this is this person is a money drainer i feel and then once that they they got all your money this person will leave and it reminds me of what i read before like there was a person from denmark went to the philippines um so that he can marry this filipino filipino woman and then after the marriage you know um they i don't know what happened to the money but once the money was all gone this filipina or filipino um girl you know she left this denmark person so without any money because the money was drained and so she left and i think that this is also the energy of the person that is you know on what you're dating because i really feel like you have a pure heart if you love you overgive and that is the thing that you really need to watch for because i feel this is a karmic person and this could be a person who has a succubus vibe or energy they could be pretty or handsome that's why you want to keep them okay because they are a trophy person because of their looks that's what i feel yeah and that's why they can manipulate you um that you must send them something so that they can give you pleasure okay and i really feel like you do care for this individual but yet your inner child say well, how about your career you work hard for your money but that you're giving to somebody that will ghost to you once that all your money is gone and that is not what true love is and this is attached to this heart so what your inner child say prepare because you will get heartbroken you need to mend your heart they say because i feel like right now you could be happy with this person because you're thinking this is a wish fulfillment okay and i really feel like you could be daydreaming that you could accelerate this into marriage but yet i feel here that you have seen some warning signs about this person being a narcissist okay and the angels say you will encounter this tower moment because you need to learn that you shouldn't judge the book by its cover you should be somebody who fell in love not because of their looks but because of what they can um what the attitude is okay so i feel like your person could be a narcissist like they ask and ask okay and if ever they're saying that they love you but yet you know it's not true they they just want to say that so that they can take something from you okay and i feel like you're being called on to be practical and yeah it's teaching you to be more practical in finding a lover and not to be somebody who will love somebody because of their looks okay what will happen if that looks fade right you still love them okay so anyway this is what's gonna happen okay this person will leave you honestly speaking okay and i feel like people around you don't really like this person because people around you knows that this person is bad for you because i feel like they could be your closest people they could be seeing you as dramatic in reality and then you love to post in social media that you're happy with this person because they're good looking and you're you're so afraid of losing them because they are trophy people but yet you know your friends could be warning you about this okay it could be they heard your story that the person that you have right now is using you for money or asking certain gifts that is unaffordable or that is so expensive i feel like you could be telling that to the people to the right people i feel but yet i feel like you're trying to defend your connection and i don't really feel like people are really interested with your story i feel like they don't like it that you chose somebody else could be i feel like you left somebody in the past that's why even your inner child is upset of you could be there could be a twin flame journey instead of you choosing the right person you chose um another opportunity that you thought was good for you because they are you know good looking but yet they are greedy 
And I feel like it's very hard for you to run away from this situation could be because you keep on posting that you like this person, you enjoy this person, but yet in reality, you know, you're not standing in your power because this person is manipulative. You're working hard for your money, but yet what happened is that you're giving and giving to this person and this person is becoming so greedy. I feel like no one is really listening whenever you post it because your your friends knows that this individual that you're dealing with is not a good person. And with this one, I do see here, yeah, that though you could be stuck with this person, okay, honestly, because I feel like this is a person that you manifested or wish for. You really want a handsome or a pretty individual, but yet this is a karmic connection because you need to learn your lesson. I know that you could not be liking this reading, but you're here because your guides wants you to know that you need to learn from this okay because they really want you to understand what true love is okay you need to love somebody that will be a good person that you can build um of an empire with and not somebody who's a narcissist okay because i feel like you could be enjoying this passionate connection with this person but yet there's no true love there that person just cares about themselves and doesn't care if you can be able to achieve something in your career. This is not a supportive person. I feel like you could encounter this like a person who really help you, who supports you, but that you choose the wrong person because of your passion. So this is the lesson that you learn. And I feel like this could be also your karma for not choosing the right person. Okay, so make sure to learn the lesson so that things may not repeat again. And they say that yes, you work hard for your money, but I really feel like you're really afraid to love this time. Probably some of you already are aware um, I feel like you could be wanting to be single for the rest of your life because I feel like some of you this could all already had happened or you're aware that you're not really earning anything from what you work hard on to because you have to provide a lot for this person. Um, I feel like he or she has a manipulative energy. This person is asking you for more. Like this person is not easily pleased. That you have to give this person expensive dates, expensive gifts. And I don't really to make them stay. But I feel like, yeah, that's the reason why this person will not stay. Especially that... You could be somebody who don't have enough to offer. Like every salary that you have is strained already. I feel like you're stressed. That's also what I get here. But you're posting on social media that you're happy. So I feel like because you have that um, reputation in social media, that's why you're still here with your person, but that your people don't like you. I don't. I feel like a negative energy that they don't really like. Um teaching so i feel like you could be somebody that's really posting something in social media and people know your story people know that you are with this person you're so happy with this person um but yet they just look look at you and watch you and i don't really feel like they know um I really feel here that you need to learn how to transform as well. Um, it's a lesson learned for you, they say to me. So your lesson, you inspire young people to learn. So I think that it's also meant to happen so that you'll be able to teach others about what you experience. Could be you need to write a book about this too. Okay, and your inner child act actually is not telling you anything that will uplift you. But I really feel like your inner child is upset that you're indulging the wrong person, that you're not really enjoying your life. You could have a, an active sex life with this person, but not really what true love is. 
I feel like your inner child is longing for somebody that is a true empress, you know. That is kind of like a motherly figure, fatherly figure that really cares. Because you don't feel like this person cares for you, but you still stayed. And I feel like people don't really like you. I don't know why. Probably you lie a lot. Probably what you post is a lie. And I'm really feeling here that you could be thinking like you can fool others because they are kids. They are... Um, I feel like, no, I, I don't really feel like people are biting it, okay, whatever you post. They could be angry because of the fact that you left the person that really cares for you and then change it to somebody that's really pretty or handsome. I feel like they're, they see you as an immature person, I, I will be honest, okay? So... The karma will hit you hard, the angels say, because you didn't choose the right person and you have to grow up. You have to be mature, they say. So is there anything else? They tell that's it. So anyway, thank you for watching those who chose for and sending you all peace, love, and light. Bye. Guys, for those who chose number five, which is the full card, here is your reading. So let's see. What else your inner child wants to tell you? Number five. Anyway, in the beginning, I heard dogs barking. Could be right now you're in a complicated situation. So this is the overall theme. You got the imagine. You also got soulmates. And then you got the poised. All right, now we'll check with your cards what we have here. I also sense infinite symbol or infinite sign then like number eight okay let's see angels and guides please provide guidance to the cards so we may be able to know what does the inner child of number five wants to tell them i feel like you have been a lot of pain years ago but yet it's coming back it's like um the song of celine dion like it's coming back to me now um, that lyric I feel like you can take it and I feel like your inner child could be saying that you need to heal those things and I feel like it's for the best because sometimes there are days where in if you are reminded of your past you just cry and I really do feel here or I feel like you could be hearing voices too that you don't understand like, you have intuitive gifts, but you don't like it. Because I feel like you don't want to be like the readers, okay? I feel like you know to yourself you have the potential. But yet, you don't um, take it, okay? You don't accelerate your gifts. I feel like that's why your inner child, I feel like, is sad. Because not only um, your inner child wants to try it, but also... That could be your calling too. Because you have that gift and why don't you use it? Because honestly speaking, the divine wants us to use the talent or skill that they sent to us. And there's even a virtue in the Bible wherein, not virtue, but parable in the Bible wherein the divine is frustrated when we just bury our gifts when we don't use it so you know while you're still alive you need to try it honestly even though let's say you can show it to your family could be you have um a religious background but why not try it you know in in a good way <laughs> just hidden okay let's see you can do a lot of things if you want to, if you put your mind to the angels say. Um, could be. <clears throat> you may be thinking this is something that is, um, what do you call this? That is forbidden. Honestly, it's really hard, especially if you are in a religious family, because I also encounter it in the beginning. Honestly, they try to stop me from doing this <laughs> even though i say it's my calling i don't know if they believe but yeah i just hope they believe 
because really I was called on. So this flew out, Emperor. Angels and guides, please provide guidance with the cards so we may know what does the inner child of number five wants to tell. So I sense a lot of things intuitively and what angels will say. Anyway, don't get confused. I'm not at reading the cards. See, a lot of noises everywhere. Could be a lot of things has been bugging you these days. And I'm sensing yeah, the triggering has been happening. So this is the overall energy that's affecting the reading and what is the outcome. Really forgive the noises, okay? I was filming this in the morning. And every morning, usually, there will be vendors that selling stuff, okay? Especially home stuff, <laughs> like vegetables and so on. It happened since um, the pandemic, okay? A lot of people was doing that kind of business thing to roam around and sell stuff. Anyway, so I'm gonna clarify. I don't know if it happened to in other countries. Angels and guides, please provide guidance to the cards so we may know what's behind the cards presented here. Please help us clarify so we may be able to understand. I don't know why I'm sensing kind of like a trigger warning here. Hmm. Could be you wasn't able to reach your childhood dreams. I feel like you could having a nightmare or you could just... Um, be involved with relatives that are really controlling and I don't really know why you're really I feel like people say this and that in your ear but you don't like it for all the years you could be following these people and five is about change I feel like your inner child wants you to be free because we got the full card being here Okay, so they want you to enjoy your life, honestly. So your inner child is really sad, okay? I feel like there could be a relative in your... I feel like you have to tend your garden. That's also what I get here. Because I feel like with this Empress in reverse. So since somebody is controlling you, you're not standing in your power. Probably because you're afraid of this person. But this is a narcissist. This person wants all to themselves, okay? That's what your inner child wants to say, okay? And you have to fight this monster, the angels say. And try to love yourself even more. Don't be afraid to speak your truth. That's what your inner child say. In order for it to be free, you have to, you know, stand in your power. Because if you keep on getting manipulated, then you will not be able to enjoy your life. You get me? You will be sad. Of course, you're not being yourself. Because some people, you know, they tend to control us. To the point is that we are not living on, you know, what we should be. Because to be honest, um, not all people are the same. Remember that we are not robots. And of course, in a ch our childhood years, we have been molded in a certain structure. And they expect us to be like that till we grow up. Which is not really comfortable and it's what we call the society's point of view that you have to do this and that and everything that matters is the title, money. And that's a sad thing. And what if you have a calling? Just like what happened to me. Honestly, I graduated twice. But yet, I ended up doing this for the full time because that is what the divine wants me to do. Well, I tried to go after the flow of whatever these people are trying to tell me. I applied a different jobs after I graduated my second school. You know what happened? I never got a job. I tried my best, but I never got a job. And if ever I got accepted, no one is calling me. And that's very annoying. Okay? And yeah, I realized that, you know, I can't escape my calling. <laughs> I'm just saying, Jonah, you know, um, 
can't escape this and that's the reason why i will say to you that if it's really your calling you can escape it that's why you keep on remembering it okay whatever you have traumas in whatever is triggering you that you have to do this because you have to do this this is your calling it's better to do it than not because you will might blame yourself when you grow old I don't like you to do that. I, I don't like you to face, let's say, the divine and say to the divine, I didn't use the gifts. Because honestly, you know, you have to defend yourself. Because if you don't defend yourself, if you let these people control you, what will happen to your life? But that is one of the biggest regrets that I ever done. I never defended, let's say, in my story with my ex-husband, I didn't have my son. I just let them, you know, sleep with my son. I just let them borrow him. And to the point of that, you know, the child is distancing himself to me. And p these people keep on making me feel jealous that my son is closer to them than me. Well, how can I fight them during those times? Because, you know, they are many and I'm, I'm only one. And it's really devastating. Like they can control your life just like that. And what they don't know is that they're hurting you. So your inner child say that avoid giving too much to these people. Avoid taming them or feeding their pride. Because the more that you feed their pride, the more that they will become a monster or they will become energy vampires or wanting to control over you. Because if, that, if they abuse that, I will say worse things can happen. Because that's also what I did with my ex-husband's family. Like they saw me, I'm not fighting for my son, I'm not fighting for myself. And it comes to a point where in they start attacking me they start even physically you know hurting me and which is really sad and yeah you forgot to love yourself because of these people and your inner child yeah say that you're afraid you're afraid because could be they are so dominant. Um, you're afraid that they may get upset of you. I feel like you didn't achieve anything because of them. Whoever this person is, they could be somebody who's thinking like they sit in a high horse and you have to serve them, you have to give them whatever they ask of you. And I feel that's why you're heartbroken, that's why you're always crying. You're um, I feel like what's going on with you, your inner child say that you're being reminded of the things that you love to do, you're passionate about, that you can't even go after because you're serving this person. Remember that is, okay? And your inner child say that if you want to go after something, I feel like they want you to respect yourself. They want you to hug your passion. They want you to love yourself even more. And your inner child also wants you to discover your gifts. And I feel like your inner child is crying. Your inner child is really sad to the point that you always feel depressed. You always have anxiety issues too. Uh, nightmares could be because what's happening here is you manifested to live in fear. When all you can do, I will say that you have a potential to get out. You know, if ever you keep on doing this, how can you survive once that they, let's say, because remember that life on earth is not perfect. Let's say something happened and then you left alone. How can you survive if, you know, these people um, got just on controlling your life, being always there for you, that you forgot to stand in your own two feet? And let's say, that's why I will like the story of the birds because, you know, they are learning how to be independent, to be honest. And I feel like you have to learn how to be independent because you're not really fighting for yourself. In the world out there, I will say that you have to be tough 
not all people are kind-hearted not all people are you know um will help you because you really have to learn how to survive especially if you want to have a family okay to be honest because you have to be a reliable person for your kids and if ever you're somebody who's like this I would say you might encounter kids that become a spoiled brat and they might notice that you're powerless and they might abuse that. They might hurt you. Because I see this happened in one of the documentaries that I watch about um, Super Nanny. I forgot the name. Um, but yet this nanny is really helping um, parents to handle their kids. And there is one of a parent wherein you know, the child abuse, you know, the mother. Because she's too kind. She's so sweet. I mean, you know, and this kid realized that the mother is kind of like this. And to the point that, you know, this um, child that she has become too bossy. To the point that the parent herself is so afraid of her own kid. I don't want to ha um, that to happen to you. Okay, it's okay to be sweet, it's okay to be kind, but you also have to stand for yourself. And that's another reason why we encounter difficult people, why we encounter these narcissists and so forth, because it's also teaching you how to defend yourself. Okay, how to be strong. Because if you don't do that, People will take your will, okay? And you may end up not discovering yourself because you really have a lot to give. You don't have to look always to yourself in a low space, okay? So they say to me that, yeah, this is the bully. So your inner child say that the people that are really controlling you is bullying you. Could be they promise you that you will have this and that, but you cannot have it. And if ever they are threatening you, if ever they're trying to really manipulate you, then what your inner child say, start investing on yourself, start saving money. Start building your life. Don't focus too much on these people. They are somebody who's confusing you okay so that you may not stand in your power okay so the angels say if you remain the same you might end up being in poverty or you might end up being just in a low situation or low vibe i don't know if this happened to you but this is kind of like a filipino culture like if you're somebody who didn't accelerate with regards to your career they tend to look lowly on you okay that's what happened and that's the reason why you really have to do something for yourself okay to be honest because you really do have a lot of skill and talent and all you have to do is take an action and your inner child says it's not time to look within it's not time to self-discover to take the wheel and control of your life okay because yeah it looks so deep okay um yeah there's a lot of things you haven't discovered and they want you also to be in a hermit mode okay um so that you may be with yourself and i feel like for some of you you need a vacation um because you have been through a lot and i feel like for some of you you're still single because could be these people around you are controlling you okay to remain the same and this is um the outcome so for an outcome i feel here <laughs> yeah someone is really a bossy here but I do see here with the High Priestess, the angels say, honestly speaking, your ancestors are with you. They don't want you to just destroy your life because of these people. They don't want you to waste those gifts. You are gifted, okay? I feel like your higher self is actually helping you to remember these things that you can do okay so basically your inner self say don't waste your talent your skill because you can do a lot of things 
And I feel like the word wag mong sayangin, which means don't waste it. Okay, and then this is another outcome. You have this, so I'm sensing like you could be afraid that if you do these things, you know, this boss will just fall on to you. Could be your probably you're thinking like if you do these things, somebody will be angry at you, or someone will what do you call this take. Um, take away everything from you or destroy your life and so forth so that's the reason why they are saying to you plan for your future and save money for yourself so that you can be able to go out because once that you're out there i will say like you will be free you will be so happy you will be so blessed another reason why your blessings are blocked can be because they are controlling you or they're making you spend on certain things or they could be threatening you to you know give them money always and i will say with this judgment reverse and the chariot so i think that these people really play mind games or brainwash you to always do whatever that they want because if ever you do something else they will be angry so you remember that you're growing as an adult okay and one day you can be more powerful than them i feel like they're really afraid of you turning into an empress or an emperor because they cannot manipulate you if that is the key situation and yet they can take the wheel of your life that's what your inner child say and i feel like your inner child really cries and don't be afraid to go after what makes you happy because sometimes you work so hard that you wasn't able to um experience the fruits of your labor could be you're a giver you keep on giving and taming this beast these people okay and they don't really deserve it okay they don't deserve such a thing and could be you observe that when you if ever you're the giver of money to them it's not what to call this it's not gonna be saved or suddenly it will be lost why because there is somebody who got used in um, receiving and receiving they don't know how hard it was for you to work on that certain money because if you're somebody who knows how hard it was to to save money and earn it um you will be respectful of other people's money anyway so let's see with your charms what we have here another you tell me so anyway here is your charms so for the charms that we have here so we got this title so um, the angels say you could be very afraid because somebody who's controlling you has the title or is a boss of a certain field and that's why they are so bossy and the angels say you know you can do this too you can have whatever you want to achieve because this person is playing mind games so that he or she can take advantage of you and okay why am i using this and honestly there are some people like that like once that they have this title once that they become a boss or have money their attitude changes like they become so prideful to the point that they're hurting others okay i encountered that thing with my ex-husband's father like yes he was uh, in a higher position in his job before because he resigned already you know whenever he comes to the house he will just shout he will make people be afraid of him which is not really healthy and he thinks that he's on top of the world like he's manifesting like no one will be greater than him so you know what so what happened is that his kids honestly didn't um accelerate because that is what is manifesting you know that he's 
should be the one who's great among them so that he can control each and every one of them. That's what happened. And the sad thing, I feel this is one of his karma months of his realization could be, is that since his kids didn't accelerate, so expect them, some of them become poor. To the point that he has to leave them or um, give money to them so that they can be having this business, they can finally um, have something for themselves or have a big break. Because these people like you, they lose their self-confidence. They lose their self worth They thought that they're nothing. They thought that they're lower than their father. So that's what they adapted. And I don't want you guys to experience those things. Okay? I want you to at least accelerate. Be on top. Start saving for yourself. Start, you know, improving yourself. Start um, trying to, you know, um, focus on your skills, on your other talent before it's too late because some of you guys you may have forgotten your talent and how can you accelerate your talent example if you have a gift of communication i would say that you guys need to um read books every day and speak whatever you read okay and i will say chop um not all the book <laughs> or every page but you know at least one chapter at a time or every a day one chapter a day will be enough so that's what i'm gonna suggest to you to improve your communication skill but if you have a talent in drawing and so forth of course you need some time to you know to draw or to at least improve your skill or watch some tutorials on how to do it go after whatever you want you are free because these people put you in a box. That's why you didn't discover who you are. You could know a certain talent that you think that you can, but you feel like it's not you, right? So remember, it's okay to be you as long as you're not hurting others. So you really have to put to rest whatever programming that they place onto you. And you need to heal your traumatic past. And this is also telling me about, let's say, you could be somebody who got discriminated with your figure. And they say, yeah, learn to love yourself. Learn to love your body. If you're really insecure of what you are, then I will say, why not try to jog? Because honestly, some people may encounter this discrimination can be during pandemic you know um you wasn't able to control your diet anymore so i would say why not dance if you have time or um try to you know lower down or have a diet because honestly to maintain this figure that i have i don't put much effort on it to be honest i only sometimes i dance yes if I ever will hear a good music. And my secret in having this figure is that I eat less. Okay? Because in the Philippines, let's say we have this plate. Okay, example, this is a plate. <laughs> Imagine it's big. Okay? Um, we eat rice. Okay, not bread. Okay, and the, the meat or the vegetables. So basically what I do is that half of my plate or about this one is just the rice. Because some people, what they do is that they over-exaggerate things. They put a lot of rice in a certain plate. Honestly, this is what I really love about... Um, what I what happened to me when I was a kid. When I was a kid, I used to put a lot of rice on my plate. And I'm not that this thin, okay? Um my body built up during those time when I was a kid. It's just right, okay? But yet when I eat it's a lot. There's a lot of rice there. And my dad noticed it. To the point that he say, you know what? Don't do that on your plate. 
just put a little rice and then if you still want the rice that you can come and go grab another rice i feel like i just um i got afraid during those time when i was a kid so what happened is that ever since my rice is just this okay just half the plate okay very little amount of rice and of course in the top is the side dish or whatever so until now that is my practice <laughs> i think i probably i got hurt when i was a kid but could be my dad will just say that <laughs> if ever you want still some food you can apply but i didn't i didn't apply rice if ever i still want to eat rarely sometimes if i really love the food but yeah it's very rare for me to eat a lot and that's one of my secret okay and of course i have snacks if i got hungry i respect my stomach because of course i don't want to have an ulcer so what i will say is that eat like crackers it's okay it didn't make me fat that's what i'm gonna say so every meal because we eat three times a day right um every meal just eat less okay and it's okay to have some snacks but not too much snack just one let's say bar of cookies okay like oreos in his spot in each pack um per pack <laughs> per pack there is three pieces of oreos so by having that snack at least you only one one pack at at a time every snack not a lot okay that's what i'm gonna suggest so that's my secret so anyway with this one i'm sensing yeah you're following the orders of your family okay it reminds me of you know kind of like the elephant i forgot what kind of oracle wisdom is it but you're going with the flow of the family and yet your intuition is saying the um other way around that you really have to you know push forward with your destiny because remember that some elephants i don't know if it's happening still now that they are in captivity once that the elephant is in captivity they can't be free obviously they can do whatever that they want they are being abused there right but if the elephant is free they are happy and that is also you okay and it is i'm sorry with this one i feel like they want you to remember your skill your talent for some of you you could have this longing to be a photographer or you know to at least have a camera i would say um i think that your inner child really wants you to buy certain things that you wasn't able to have since childhood that's what you really want okay i can hardly speak could be some of you can't express yourself because you know of the environment there um all i can say is that if you can't express yourself there then when these people are gone then it's no time to express yourself it's no time to go wild um you know what even though i live in this certain situation sometimes if they are not around i will sing i will dance i will do whatever i want you know that's what you should be doing like it's okay to go crazy it's okay to discover yourself um to be happy because i believe that you're a completely different person if you are with your friends <laughs> right and if ever you really have a dream let's say to be a photographer then your inner child say why not save some money for a camera or for something that you really want that you was an experience as a child because honestly this is also one of my dream when i was a little i really loved to take photos but during my time when i was a kid there's no let's say these phones that um there's no phone like this okay where you can capture the moments etc you, you know before if ever you take pictures you waste a film 
And that's why, you know, the photos is very limited and we're not allowed, you know, to touch the camera because, you know, we might break it or we might waste a film. And in my childhood days, I really love to take photos. I really want to try. And if ever you see me in personal, I love to take photos. Honestly, I may not be posting much in my Instagram or my YouTube. It will be rare that I will post something. But if you go to my Facebook, if you go to my phone, there's a lot of pictures there. Okay? And I also invested on buying a camera with a printer. I'm not buying... Um, what they call this, the Instax thing. I have an Instax, but mine is, you know, something that can print whatever your phone has. And yeah, that's... <laughs> and I keep those memories on scrapbook because that's what I love to do. So embrace your inner child. I will say you will enjoy life even more. You will feel like your burden was lifted because finally... You have done something that you want to do for a long time. Okay, because you will feel very grumpy, very sad if you were just, you know, live in a jail that you wasn't able to discover yourself because people are kind of putting in, in the box that you should do this and that. You forgot yourself. Don't do that, okay? Because God really gave you a talent. God gave you a skill for you to enjoy for you to discover too so enhance your skill enhance your talent and have fun <laughs> so for some of you you could be turning into a heavy drinker because of your stress because of your traumas and so forth so your inner child say don't waste your time don't waste your gifts if you have some time for drinking why not um, replace that on something else you know what happened to me yesterday? I should be continuing these readings, honestly. But my day isn't great because I was being reminded of my ex, okay, that I haven't recovered yet. So all day yesterday, I cried. And I want to do this. You know, I already set up the cards, but yet the angels say no it's not time you're not in a good mood you're not in a good place so what i did yesterday as you notice i just update my scrapbook and upon updating my scrapbook you know my what they call this my feelings uplifted or changed like i become happy again <laughs> So that's the importance of our skill, our talent, or whatever makes us happy. It removes the negative emotions. So try to replace your drinking habit into something creative, okay? That is productive and not something that will destroy your life. You need to embrace your life. You need to love your life, honestly speaking. So anyway... These are your cards. So your inner child say that mind your own business. Um, your inner child say don't mind what others are telling you because you have to, you know, take some time to learn. Take some time for your skill, for your talent. And don't ignore this. If ever you have communication skill and people are around you, I will say read a certain book. And if ever you're shy, then do it whenever you're alone. Because of me, if ever my twin sister's not around, I will read a book. Uh, one chapter per day. Okay? Um, that also will help you to read a lot of books. Because honestly, books can give us knowledge. And even though, let's say, it's just a storybook, well, sometimes there are lessons learned in a certain story. Okay, and it can also enhance your communication skill. So you have to do that, guys, to help yourself. And don't dim your light just to fit in. Because the angels say, there's a lot for you to discover. And I feel like for some of you, you just want peace. And that's why you follow these people. And this is not really healthy for you. Because since they are manipulating you, okay, you're... 
you're becoming depressed, you're becoming somebody who's sad and wasn't able to manifest anything because they are trying really to distort you into something that you're not. You really have a cap capability to go after what you want and be an emperor or empress. If only you don't fit in with this monster. Because I would say that this monster, whomever they are, once that you encounter this kind of um, place, they cannot control you anymore. <laughs> And I feel like you become like this crazy or you become somebody who's always crying, who's always um, envious of others because you wasn't able to reach something. Then go after this. Okay? Do whatever you want. It's okay. As long as it's not hurting yourself. Okay? So anyway, here are your cards. So yeah. It is so miss and then imagine. So you really have to let go of these people that are really hurting you. And that's also a gateway for you to really find your soul tribe. So find somebody who will understand you, who will care for you. And I'm sensing here that this kind of experience is teaching you how to fight for yourself. How to stand in your power. And I feel like you will inspire a lot of people if you was able, if you're able to do it. Okay, that's what I'm gonna say. Yeah, take that leap of faith. And I really feel like someone is really controlling you <laughs> not to take that leap of faith, but continues anyway. Because that is what your inner child wants. You know, remember that a child wants to discover a lot of things. But yet, they just can't discover a lot. Because of course, their elders are worried about them and so forth. But that is what your inner child wants. I feel like your inner child is somebody who wants to discover things. Okay, you an explorer. Okay, you could love to... You could want to travel the world, but you don't have a chance to do so. That's also what I get, okay? Now, this is the next card. You got sensitivity. So, some of you, this could be somebody who could be a motherly figure or an elder that's really so strict that one move that, that they don't like, they will scold you. That can be... But they say to you that if ever you have this figure... Um, they say start investing on yourself, start saving money because the angels say you will need it one day. And yeah, you really have to learn how to live on your own. Start planning for your future and avoid. Okay, if you will go out one day, I will suggest to you guys to buy little stuff. Um, stuff that you can carry with you when you get out that's what i'm gonna suggest because to be honest if you keep on buying things that's not really necessary um think that you can't carry it all with you that's what i'm gonna say so that's the thing that you will do number five so first discover yourself you need to change your patterns change your programming Okay, go after whatever you please or what makes you happy. Okay, so is there anything else? It's not okay to keep it all within, they say to you. Because you will might regret it for the rest of your life if you didn't, didn't enjoy your life. Because remember that life on earth is not permanent and even our health is not permanent. I remember, you know... My ex-Argentinian guy, um, he's really inspired me um, to love myself. Because before, I don't really love myself. Before, I look down on myself. Because even my ex-husband will say that I'm ugly and stuff. You know, when he called me that, I asked people in his, let's say, tribe or family, is it true that I'm ugly and then that person will just look at me but will not say anything at my face? And it comes to a point that, you know, when I have this Argentinian guy, 
I will call myself ugly, but he will say that I'm pretty. I'm so pessimistic during those times. Could be you too, because could be people around you are discriminating you like you're not good enough or you're not pretty or not handsome. But I would say that avoid focusing on whatever they say. Because this is another problem once that you are in a connection and then the person that you have will call you that, um, something like that. To be honest, it's not good to tell people that they're ugly. Because, um, of course, what will happen is that whomever was called on to be ugly will try her or his best to look good and will waste the money for um, facial things, okay? Um, just to be pretty or handsome. And that's also what happened to me, honestly. And whatever I do to myself, I, I'm still called ugly. <laughs> Which is really not good okay with that person but yet when i met my argentinian guy um that's what he did to me is that he will call me pretty and when he noticed that i am so pessimistic pessimistic all the time he will be very upset he will be mad whenever i <laughs> i say something negative and since he is angry whenever he um i do that I stop being pessimistic. <laughs> I, I stop saying to myself that I'm ugly. You know. <laughs> and that's what I'm grateful about. And also what he shared to me is that, you know, he taught me how to love myself. How to love natural beauty. I'll give you an example. And why he loved natural beauty? It's because he has a girlfriend an ex-girlfriend okay he has an ex-girlfriend who really is into her beauty into her looks to the point that she always wears makeup she color her hair hair and whatever okay but this guy this argentinian guy you know um say to me that that girl that he used to have Whenever he would want to kiss her, it, it started a fight between them and the girl. Because the girl will not want him to kiss her on the cheeks, okay? Because of course the makeup will be gone if you kiss somebody there. And the, my ex-Argentinian guy got upset. Why do you put makeup on? Is it for somebody else or is it for me? You know? And he got so upset about it. And also another thing is that he don't like um, the way that girls color their hair to the point that it matches um, their skin tone. <laughs> and he say that, you know what? A lot of people um, loves black hair or any color of hair that you naturally have and you will just color it and it really taught me to embrace whatever God have given and that really made me teary eye until now probably I'm sensing some of you guys could be crying and also when I met my guy I also was taught on to be someone who wear conservative clothes I'm not really that showy when I dress okay um he of course we, we do something because we are you know boyfriend and girlfriend right um he noticed that my body is pretty you know or have that figure and he said to me why are you wearing certain things that makes you look old that's what he say because he said to me when you grow old you will miss those things you will not be able to enjoy your body if you keep on doing that, okay? <laughs> I'm not saying that be wild, but in some cases, love your body, love yourself. Because honestly, when you grow old, you will not have that skin. You will not have that um, aura in you where you can discover yourself. That's why it's very important, guys, to enjoy your life before it's too late. Before we grow old and we can do nothing. Okay, and your skin will turn something that's not nice. So, yeah.
That's why I'm sharing you my story because I want to uplift you all. I want to show you that there is hope to change your life. It's never too late, guys. Honestly, when did I... Um, I'm really thankful for that person who really did this to me. Because if I didn't meet him honestly, I will remain to be like whatever these people wants me to be. <sighs> because, you know what, I be I become um, pregnant for um, early, early years in my life. I was asked to wear certain clothes that I don't like. And I experience, you know, not being allowed to wear whatever I want. That's why, when I met my Argentinian guy, I look old with my clothes, okay? But I'm young at heart. Like, it's not my personality. It's whatever these people perceive to be. <laughs> it's not your personality if you're controlled by people around you. So that's why you need to live what you are. You don't need to form yourself of what others are trying to form you because you will end up like water. Okay? Now it's no time to control your life. It's no time to set boundaries and to change. Okay? You have that potential, Five. You can do it. If you just know me in the past, I am like you. I'm shy type before. I can't even speak when I was a kid because I'm so afraid to speak my truth. Okay, it happens if your elder surrounders are still streak. Okay, so don't dim your light. Don't destroy your life just because of them. You can change your life. If they don't really respect you, if they don't um, uplift you, then uplift yourself. That's what I'm gonna say. I'm just here for you, God. All oh, okay. Um, I'll be there. Hugs to you all. You can do it. I trust you. Trust you. Sending you all peace, love, and light. Bye. Hey guys, for those who chose number six, which is the Queen of Pentacles card, here is your reading. So let's see what does your inner child wants to tell you, number six. Now, anyway, this is the overall theme. You got building blocks and then you also got unfinished symphony. So anyway, I don't know why I'm sensing jealousy issues, but let's see. Angels and guides, please provide guidance to the cards. So we may be able to know what does your inner child wants to tell number six. I feel like your inner child could experience being drained. I don't know why I sense that. Could be you could be giving more to others than yourself. I feel like watering plants. I think that you don't water your own plant to grow. You could be watering other people's plants to make them happy, to make them succeed but you forgot yourself and i feel like your inner child wants to say that you have to invest on yourself and you need to learn how to love yourself and treat yourself well rather than always pleasing others and i don't know why also i'm sensing it's now time to glow to glow up and be you as well I feel like there's a lot of changes that you have to do for yourself, number six. I feel like you need inner child healing too. Could be sometimes you could be feeling like you want something, a child like, like, let's say you want anime figures or you want something that you used to like when you're a kid. And I feel like sometimes it annoys you because you're growing up as an adult and not as a kid. And I'm sensing like you do need it, okay? Because I feel like you have been through a lot in your life. 
you forgot to enjoy yourself could be in your childhood you can't have certain things that you want if ever you have it i feel like right now you're missing it because you could be feeling nostalgic and you're aware that that is a certain thing that makes you happy it reminds you of your childhood and what your inner child say go after it okay because honestly if our inner child is not content it makes us depressed that's another cause of our sadness and this is very important guys don't diminish it um don't get fooled by what people will say because sometimes people don't just understand why you want certain things i feel like yeah you could be thinking about the society's point of view i would say that if ever you're somebody who wants to collect stuff like childhood stuff like lego or dolls whatever it was it was just like similar on what others are doing like they're collecting let's say bags that are branded whatever you know don't mind others that's what i'm gonna say because totally it will drain your energy even more and for some of you i feel like some people would say it's a waste of money honestly sometimes it is if you got abusive towards it or, f or if you got greedy i would say avoid um getting too greedy if you got involved in collecting stuff i've been there guys i used to collect care bears in the past and what happened to me is that yeah it's not really healthy to be greedy because one time um i'm so obsessive towards collecting um like uh, within the week i collect and collect and then one day i got consecutive nightmares for three days like in my nightmares i was being chased by a shadowy figure but i feel like it's kind of like a devilish vibe honestly i'm so scared of my dreams i have a feeling that i'm being reminded that what i'm doing was wrong and it's kind of with the obsession thing it's kind of like um a devilish vibe that's urging you to push on to buy and buy and buy and i'm really afraid of the nightmares so that's why i stopped collecting so that's the reason why i would say that only buy only what's important to you what's memorable for you okay if you're into that actually addiction about materialistic things is very hard to ignore so let's see with your cards angels and guides please provide guidance with the cards so you may be able to know what does the inner child wants to tell number six could be that's the reason why you're ignoring your inner child wanting this is in reverse okay they're putting it in reverse but with regards to these cards as you can see i'm not reading it actually in reversal but if the angels wants me to put that in reverse i will okay so this is the overall energy that's affecting the reading and this is in either way they say what is the outcome it's okay um to buy okay whatever that is that you have in mind okay just make sure don't get greedy if you got greedy you have the control okay um that's what i'm gonna suggest to you honestly remember that i'm into nandroids on my beginning stages i got obsessive again i got greedy and <laughs> i just stop why because actually one figure costs a lot imagine one figure will cost like let's say a tarot card okay set that's how expensive it is and i realize that i'm not earning anything i'm not saving anything because i keep on putting the money to the figures so that is on detaching from greediness i will suggest you guys to pray to god because some of us if we have materialistic things we tend to be attached to it we don't want to let go even though let's say that item is not really important like it's nothing that resembles what what they want 
So that's what I did. I asked God and I prayed to God to help me detach from it. And I was able to detach. I was only able to keep, you know, those things that, you know, really resembles what I really want. Okay. So that's what I'm gonna say if you got trouble with regards to addic addiction with regards to collecting stuff. Let's see, we'll clarify angels and guides. Enough is important, that's what they wanna say. So we may know what's behind the cards presented here. Please help us clarify so we may be able to understand. I feel like you're feeling guilty on giving something for yourself, that's why you help others. It's just nice, but I feel like your inner child is crying like you forgot to love yourself. That's why you feel very depressed. You could have sometimes sleepless nights. You could be wanting a thing and then you, you don't have it. So if ever that's the case, if ever you have the power like intuitive gifts, there are some cases that... If you look in a certain item, example, you go in a mall and then you felt drawn to a certain item, it means that you should buy it because someday you will need it. Because that's what sometimes happened to me. That's why if ever I felt drawn to something, I would buy. But it doesn't mean that you collect. You just buy it because you felt drawn you need it. And you will realize in your future self you really need that okay anyway so this is the overall energy i just felt want to share that your overall energy that's affecting the reading is a chariot so your inner child say that you could be somebody who's not a spendaholic you're somebody who keep the money could be savings or you're really afraid to to waste money on yourself and that's why this is an either way. Like you want to go after what you want, but at the same time, you don't want to. Okay. I feel like for some of you, you could have a strong Virgo vibes. Okay. That's what's going on. So your inner child say that you're so afraid. You're too afraid to waste money on yourself. You have the coins. Okay. You have could be a, a job and you're very lucky that you have blessings. But yet you give to others. You're a loving person with this King of Cups. Wow. We have the Kings. Honestly. And yeah, you're giving these pages of Cups water or whatever you have. That you forgot yourself. And they say to me, um, don't over give to others because they have a tendency to... Because Page of Cups reminds me of friendship. There could be some friends that you have that are abusing your kindness that you forgot to invest on yourself i feel like another reason why some of you don't have blessings because you could be giving and giving to others and you're really great with money making number six but yet six is about soulmates too okay and with the queen of swords you really have the power actually to stand in your power and i feel like your inner child is thinking a lot of things daydreaming that one day you know you will invest on yourself i feel like your inner child see that you really have money to buy whatever you want okay but yet what's holding you back are people around you that are abusing you because of your kindness that you forgot to invest on yourself and then the next is the, the card here so I feel like you could be afraid of people leaving you if you didn't give them anything or you're seeking for approval. That's why it could be you have a practice to, you know, please others. So the angels say, um, some, some people are money hungry. I feel like you're not someone who's money hungry, but I feel like some people around you are. Okay, and you could be afraid of these people. If you ever sense that they have a bad energy or they're just using you for money, um, they ask you to leave that, okay? Your inner child, <laughs> that's one because there's a child here, my gosh. So I have a feeling here that your inner child is not really comfortable with people that are using you for money. 
I feel like you could have strong hunches that you shouldn't be with these people. Um, you need to follow that if you have hunches. Because honestly, it's a way of divine to protect us from these evil people. Okay? Um, because hunches, honestly, it's a gateway from the divine. That is the way of God to communicate to us. That's why of all the senses, I respect the hunches. I respect something that came to my heart. And um, if ever you don't know how to how to hear your hunches or how to sense it, I would say that hunches rarely comes rarely comes if it's very important if you know in regards to hunches i only experienced twice the hunch first hunch is when i felt it with somebody that i just met and then that person really i have a difficult time i feel an easiness in my heart like i feel like i can trust that person that's the first hunch that i experienced in this life Second hunch, and those times actually that I experienced the first hunch is when I'm not into tarot yet. I'm still studying um, in a certain school, okay, during those times. Second hunch is when I met a person in an event and I felt like I can trust that person. I feel so easiness in my heart. So... Those are the type of people that you should be in, but it's real, really rarely to happen that you have that sense that you can trust somebody because basically, you know, in reality, guys, there's only less people whom we can trust. And if ever you could feel like that with somebody, like that hunch that you can express, like you can be yourself, then make that person stay in your life <laughs> or it could be that is the one okay so anyway and yeah that's why you don't need to push yourself i need to feel a hunch right now <laughs> no don't do that and of course to know the right people i would suggest to you guys to observe because sometimes they give us a red flag already if they are good people or not Okay, if ever you don't feel any hunches. So, remember to see the red flags. And yeah, your your inner child says you're dealing with greedy people that's trying to eat your money. And that's why your inner child say, why not invest on yourself? On the right people because yeah, you're dealing with somebody who is really greedy. I feel like this person is not a go-getter. This person could be somebody who's laid back, who's not really doing the work to achieve something. And yeah, since this person is lazy, this person could be begging a lot from you, okay? That's what's going on. So I feel like yeah, you really have a potential to be abundant, to be rich. If only, I feel like you can experience that if you learn how to go after what you want because you could be somebody who's too mature to the point that you're not a waste of your money but to waste your money on somebody. Okay, so I'm sensing here that the angels wants you to know about the people around you. What will be their reaction if ever you don't give? Because if they are greedy, the angels say, and they just love you for your money, once that you don't have anything to offer, that is when you will know who are your true friends. Okay, that is a difficult situation about being rich or achieving something because you're surrounded by good people at the same time you're surrounded by snakes okay so that's the reason why yeah if you're really um into poverty you're lucky that you know whom are the good people because you know you will see their attitude on how they treat um the poor or the lowly that they see others are because if you are let's say if you have the title if you have the money people will tend to flock so that they can use you 
So that's why they ask you, please observe your people. Okay, avoid giving them. Because the angels say, if ever they react in a bad way, and that means that they are not really your friends. And this is a difficult situation for you, number six. Of course, all of the people that we have in our life has meaning in our life, right? And there are memories too. But I feel like you're more accelerated with regards to spirituality. I feel that. But yet, um... The divine is really pushing you to get away from negative people so that you may find your soul tribe. You may find people that will really love you for who you really are and not something that you can provide. I feel very sad here when I hold this card. I feel like for you it's really heartbreaking. Honestly, we have to learn how to let go of people that are draining us because that is also what's holding us back from having the 100% blessings from God. Because if ever we have this kind of people, I just notice that a divine hold, hold back the money. Because if they gave you the money right away, you will just give and give and give to these wrong people. Okay, remember that it's better to give to the poor than to the greedy. That's what you need to keep in mind. If you're dealing with a greedy person, because look how obsessive this person is. Oh my gosh. Better get away from those people. So the next thing that we got here is this one. So your inner child uh, want to fight these people. They want you to set healthy boundaries as well, okay? Close the door towards those people that are really greedy, okay? And manipulative too, they say. Because with the Queen of Pentacles, I really feel here, yeah, you have to be strong according to your inner child. Because I feel like, yeah, this person's really trying to mess up with you. I feel like this person is also causing you stress. And I feel like your inner child says enough is enough. I feel like your inner child wants to protect you from this person. Your inner child wants you to invest on yourself. Okay, rather than these people. Okay, to defend yourself. This just repeats, okay? Because whomever that you're dealing with, this is the outcome. This is a waste of money. Okay, and I feel like you're really attached to this person. And I feel like you can free yourself from this individual here who keeps on asking you and draining your energy, your effort, your money, the, the thing that you work hard on to. And remember, you work hard on to it. And God gave us money to help ourselves, honestly. And also to give to others, but not to the greedy okay to give to the poor okay that's what you need to do it's better to help the poor because these people are not really good people in your life now anyway let's see with your charms what we have here so invest on yourself it just keeps on repeating sorry for the repetitive message <laughs> they keep on saying the same thing another so anyway one more data i feel uplifted i don't know why probably because you're finally happy that you're gonna love yourself because i feel like you really do have a title you could have um money and people see that in you even if you don't have enough people still see that because you're somebody who has been generous with money you have been a giver Okay, and that's the reason why you are really blessed by heaven. But yet the divine wants you to give to the poor. I feel like the divine is actually crying because you give it to the wrong people. So it's not time to leave these stressful people, they say. And you really need to, you know, put to rest. I feel like they want you to be in a hermit mode um, because... This stress is too much. It's really affecting you. I feel like you do have a good heart. You do have a giving heart, as you can see here. And I'm sensing like it's really hard for you to let go of people, but you have to. 
you have to learn how to protect yourself because if you continuously be um somebody who can't be used then these people who are manipulative will continuously drain you and your inner child says it's now time for you to heal um honestly speaking i feel like it's really difficult you have memories with these people and i understand that but you really do have i feel like to go after your calling because i feel like in this pile you could also feel drawn into you really have a giving heart because that is one of your purpose and yeah but don't give to the wrong people okay so your intuition is telling you what to do and of course your hunches too because honestly you are a go-getter too and i feel like one of your power is to gain momentum and go after what you want and with these wishes scooby there are some things that you wish for that you can buy for yourself but that you're giving to the wrong people so what i want you to do is go after what you want you know experience at least the you know fulfillment of let's say working because you won't enjoy working they say if you're not experiencing the fruits of your labor it's okay to sometimes indulge with whatever you have okay just balance it like give something for yourself and then give something for others too if you have the money okay because sometimes if we give too much on the wrong people we also forgot not only to give for ourselves but to give towards those people that are really in need okay and i really feel here that I feel like you may find it really difficult to remove these snakes but you will accelerate more if you will let go of them they say and remember that you can't save money because you are surrounded by these people how can a plant grow if there's a lot of weeds you know underneath right or even pest if you remove those pests if you remove those weeds on the ground then the plant will grow successfully so that's what you need to do number six okay so you really need to also have inner child healing especially if you're dealing with somebody that is your let's say childhood friend okay and take some time let take some break away from the society and try to observe okay that's what they want you to do because look at that people really see you as a workaholic person and you could be earning more and that's why people are taking advantage of it okay then the next thing that we got here is that yeah this person since they see as somebody that's rich or has everything this person go after you and you could be dealing with somebody that's really greedy that i feel like if it's a lover they just love you because of your money and i feel like you already are aware about it honestly speaking you have seen this person um with the red flags and i'm sensing here that leave this kind of people because once that you can't give anything they may just leave you in the cold and study them that's what they want you to know and start planning for yourself because sometimes you could be giving to others so you forgot to invest for your future so you could be giving this person some gifts okay and this person i feel like you feel threatened could be they have tendencies that if you don't give what they want they will say something in social media or they will argue with you i think that they play mind games on you already number six and that's why you could be very afraid because i also see in this card that your your inner child said that you could be afraid of them okay and yeah you're stuck with this person but you really have to free yourself to reach for your goals and your dreams because if you keep on being stuck with these people that see you as a treasure and drain your money you can um, be able to go after what you want you will forgot yourself you need to learn how to love yourself 
Number six, because yeah, this is how you feel. You feel very stressed being controlled by this person. And yeah, this person is, you know, it's a blockage here to buy whatever you want, to go after your dreams. This person is just draining your money. But I feel like some of you guys, who, this person could be a player. This person could be a heartbreaker. Like if ever this is a love situation, the angels say, this person is just fooling you around. This person did this to others too. And it's a never-ending cycle. And you have to leave this person so that this person may learn um, something with your connection. So this is a karmic actually if this is a relationship or connection and you met this person in order for you to learn how to set healthy boundaries okay and to learn where to invest your money and yeah better give to the poor rather than this kind of person number six so your inner child really is sad because you are earning money but yet you forgot to use it for yourself you forgot to nurture your own um stuff here so i really feel like you really do have a good heart you're a giver yes um but yet they want you to build your castle they want you to invest for yourself too for your future don't forget yourself that's what your inner child say and it's okay to go whatever you want to buy okay um i remember one time I don't know if you, I shared to you this story. Actually, this is my problem way back 2019. I encountered a lover whom I helped because he lost his job. I know that some people know this story already. And that could be the lesson that I learned that I overgave to this individual. And I overgave almost 50,000 pesos in Philippine peso. Okay, imagine that um huge amount of money i gave to that person because he has a problem on by on um, you know paying his bills because suddenly he lost his job he don't know what to do he don't know where what to approach etc and after you know after getting the money he just left me and chose someone else it's really devastating for me and I think that you guys might experience it because I say that this lesson is teaching you not to give to people that are greedy because they are just after the money. If you gone out of if they got whatever they want from you or they what they call this, they got all your money, they will just leave you. And that's why it's very important not to be with the snakes okay to release them so that you may find your soul tribe and trust the divine if you remove these negative people they will send good people in your life okay that's what they want you to do number six okay and honestly i would say that the trigger here is that if you experience to finally go after what makes you happy like example buy yourself a nice book or camera you will feel like happy you will be even teary eyed okay because that's what happened to me too when i finally set myself from this kind of routine okay anyway and i now know how it feels like to um you know Use your money for yourself. I feel like you guys may cry too when you do that for yourself. Because after all these years of serving others, finally, you wake up and love yourself. <laughs> you will feel, you will breathe. Number six, you will see the difference. Serving others that are greedy versus, you know, at least um, experiencing to love yourself it's very different you will feel very energized and very happy anyway so these are your card so you got travel your life purpose involves traveling so i feel like you guys are very blessed with money to the point that it's enough to travel for some of you this could be your dream 
to travel one day but that you can't save money because you've been given to somebody else then what they want you to do actually is to save money for whatever you want go after it okay during the pandemic period because i filmed this during pandemic save money okay and once the pandemic is over you can travel because even here i see that you really want to travel but I feel like you really have to travel, especially if whomever this greedy person is, this person is around you, okay? So if ever that's a case situation, guys, you're being called on to uh, move out on where you're at, okay? That's why the divine is giving you money so that you may save money for it. Because you really have to remove yourself from this kind of greedy people around you. Yeah, and I feel like you're meant to move in somewhere, okay, away from your past people, okay? So is there anything else? They tell that um, what's important is you learn the lessons, even though this may break your heart, this reading. Um, that's why I put on trigger warning. But you really have to do it, number six. You can't live forever like this, okay? Because you're stressed out and they are so concerned of you, okay? So, hugs to you, number six, and send to you all peace, love, and light. Bye. Hi, guys. For those who chose number seven, which is the hangman, here is your reading. So, let's see what does your inner child wants to tell you number seven now this is the overall theme of this reading you got to be fair and you also got tiktok um i'm sensing different scenarios here just take what resonates and leave what doesn't number seven and now let's see angels and guides please provide guidance to the cards so we may know what does the inner child of number seven wants to tell them another they say to me so let's see another shuffle they say all right one more okay No need to worry about your life. I feel like I feel like for some of you, you could be cheated on, could be in the past, or for some of you, I don't know why I feel like it could be in your future. So this is a trigger warning, but let's see. You could be a person that's loyal type. Angels and guides, please provide guidance to the cards so we may know what does the inner child of number seven wants to tell them. I feel like uh, they want to say that Almighty Father is protecting you from harm. That's what they say. Hmm. It could be a spiritual. That's why the divine is really protecting you. See? See that? So you're being protected from harm. Now, anyway, this is the overall energy that's affecting the reading. And what is the outcome? We could have a jealous friend that's supporting you, but behind closed doors, this person is not a good friend. I feel like you have been receiving some warning signs about this person but that you're not really listening to it because could be you really treat this person nicely for some of you this could be let's say I feel like a long distance relationship for some of you I don't know why I sense that but it will clarify angels and guides please provide guidance to the cards so we may be able to know What's behind the cards presented here? This up as clarify so we may be able to understand. Another. Feel like you could be in a karmic relationship too or connection. Because some of you this could be somebody who is already in your circle. Or for some of you this could be your lover. 
I feel like you're being guided to I feel like uh, to leave or you could have strange hunches um, you could have a feeling that this person could be cheating, lying because I feel like you ha really have strong senses and I feel like this person is somebody whom you daydream to marry but yet this person I feel like give you a heart ache, okay? Because some of you already, it already happened. And see this? Temperance. So what your inner child say that whomever that person is, okay? This is somebody who's really your enemy. And you need to take cautious and actually look out what the divine is kind of protecting you. Um... Honestly, I'm reading this intuitively. So I feel like you have been given some warning signs because if ever this person will attack you, of course, it will hurt you, especially if this is a lover and suddenly this person will cheat. And what they want you to do right now is to be independent, to be on your own, and don't get fooled by this individual because this is not a good friend. Okay, I feel like this person is also the reason why you are blocked from finding another potential partner could be you're paired on with this person that is a karmic and this person kept you stuck there. Okay, um, that's what's going on. You could be waiting for this person but in reality, they they will cheat, you know. It's really... I feel like it will be devastating for you. Could be you're waiting for years for this person, but that they're not choosing you, or they're always cheating, lying. Okay, and I really feel like this person is always watching you. So your inner child say that be independent, be on your own. Don't wait for this person. Don't waste your energy on them. Because if you invest a lot on this person, the more that it will just hurt. They say, of course, they say that you could be seeing this person as your wish fulfillment or somebody that makes you happy if this is a friend but also it will break your heart once that this person hurt you and that's the reason why the divine is pushing you away from this person could be there are some blockages like distance and them dealing with another karmic partner it's because it's for the best so divine is just protecting you from this person who just take advantage of you and this person is not even loyal to you some of them could be draining your money you could have invested a lot on, on this person and once that they have a lot they will leave you they could be energy vampires too and yeah you have seen the red flags but yet you're still happy daydreaming about this individual so your inner child say that pay attention to the red flags okay because you could be indecisive you have a lot of options okay your inner child say yes you have a lot of options you don't have only one and and since you already have a red flag, walk away already because you're wasting your time and energy and effort and you're ignoring good options in your life. Or this is also a hindrance for you to be successful, to be wealthy because could be this person is, you know, manipulating you, saying that you need to invest in this and that or you need to give them money and whatever but it's all a lie this is a liar too okay somebody who drains your money your achievement and you work hard for it and i feel like your inner child could be crying okay because i feel it this one look at the face um something was taken away from this individual that's why from this individual from this cat that's why the cat is crying and I'm reading this intuitively because I feel like you work hard, you invested on this connection and then suddenly the divine will just get it away from you. But what they want you to know is that it's for the best because some of you, you might get angry with the heaven if it happened, okay? But if you look in a deeper picture, you will be happy without this person, 
because this person what they did to you they are energy vampires they are narcissists they don't give for you they're not good even for you they keep on cheating you're loyal this is unhealthy relationship numbers seven okay so yeah temperance in reverse so you're not in the same page with this person if you're the giving person here they are not there's somebody who's draining you or you just using you but not giving you what you deserve and you need somebody some somebody who will work for you somebody who will give for you who will not just take but also give and your inner child say that it's not time for you to rest don't give any more to this person and know what you deserve you don't deserve somebody who create drama in your life and conflict and you will realize that without this person you will not have this anymore you will you will be happy you will finally be free from the drama okay from the heartbreak too okay and the next thing that we got here is the justice card so what basically we have here is that it's not time for you to fight for yourself it's not time to get back your control your power they say because with this one i feel like you're being called on not to work anymore with this connection so walk away the angels say from the wrong people that's not really good for you or healthy for you because look at this okay this person really is obviously a narcissist this is an, the outcome so inner child say that this person isn't giving you anything you could be seeking for attention you could have a crush on this individual or this could be your friend you want to feel like appreciated but this person just walk away and this person is great look at that wearing a mask oh my gosh this person is wearing a mask could be they're trying to play pretend that they are a good lover they are a good friend they could be swaying you by words and they could be putting black magic on you for some of you i sense that okay if ever you doubt how you feel I will suggest you guys to bath with salt and water or go at least to nature to ground yourself or wear a black tourmaline it's a black tourmaline so that the spell will be removed but once that the spell is removed and you realize that you're not in love that is when you realize this is not my person I'm not in love with them okay so your inner child say that this person is wearing a mask and it's not time to give to yourself um try to learn how to please others okay not to please others i would say because you know could be you have a tendency to give to get attention could be that's how you're you know you're programmed to do but that what they want you to learn is that if a person you know appreciates you they will give for you they will not just take from you they will also give for you provide for you they will treat you as their friend as their lover okay but if they're not receptive to it don't force okay don't force yourself to the wrong people okay now let's see what we have here you could have a judgmental person too that's what i sense could be you're having anxiety or issues about that um i feel like you're somebody whom um i feel like reputation matters to people or whatever i think that you'll need to learn how to be independent how to be on your own you could be um somebody in the public eye or in a group of people but they're calling you to be in a hermit mode because honestly you are drained by these people if ever that's okay situation there's a lot of things going on here in the reading i feel also facade so be careful on whom you dealt with if ever you see red flags that this person is not good for you then you take it as a sign because i feel like for some of them they're really creating a facade that they're good people but they are not good people okay now anyway these are 
I feel like crime as well. Could be this person is into illegal stuff. Okay, so be careful. So that is only for some. Take what resonates. Whatever you receive as red flag. So yeah, you are dealing with a toxic person. Obviously here. That could be pushing you to invest on. I feel like a scam. Don't ever follow this person. Okay, if ever you have feelings in your heart. That there is a hunch. Because I feel like. You are good people. That's why you're protected by God. And I'm feeling here. That yeah. That because some divine don't want you to experience to be heartbroken um heartbroken too bad and that's why they're pushing you to not to invest okay i feel like you're deeply in love but that the person keeps on choosing someone else that's for some of you so that's the reason why you don't have to invest on this person because could be you're somebody who stayed in a relationship Okay, but this is how your feeling could be with your person, like they are distant to you, they're not messaging you, you're trying to get um, their attention, but they're not giving you it. So the angels say it's the red flag, it's not time to take your energy back, because this person is preventing you from accepting other lovers, okay, or other opportunities out there. And some of you, you could be investing on whatever this person is saying and it will create your downfall. It just has come. So don't fall for this person, okay? And with this wish being here, so I'm sensing here that your wish will be granted. Like if ever you wish for a lover, could be for some of you are desperate to find a lover that will love you and so forth they say to you that you know take some time to know what is your birth because i see it here also with a justice card being here like your inner child say that know your worth okay and wish for somebody that will really treat you well and not treat you as an option because you're being mistreated here in this picture so i feel like they're asking you to pray to the divine to say whatever you really want in a connection and god will grant it to you but make sure that what you wish for is really good for you like example wish for you know a lover that is caring loving and nurturing that will not treat you like this just an option okay know your words and i feel like you could be like this like you could be doubting your person well this is your sign this is a wake-up call for you that whomever that you're thinking about that is like this is not really healthy for you and this person takes advantage of you because of your kindness because you have a good heart but this person don't deserve you number seven you deserve somebody who is like you who's a loving person who's caring who's giving and this person is immature okay and i feel like this will teach you how to be wise okay how to conserve your energy and to give to people that are really on the same page as you are and this is also your lesson not to get fooled easily with regards to love life okay and if a person is receptive of your love and at the same time giving you attention that is a good sign for you that that person is a good person for you okay because they treat you the way that you want to be treated but make sure if you met that person that's really loving towards you invest on that right person okay rather than giving it to somebody that's not really you know um giving you what you deserve because i do see here that this person could be manipulative could be controlling you this could be a person as well that is book smart that could have studied on how to do this and it's not time to detach yourself because if you are attached to them what's going on with you is that it's a hindrance for you to go after what you want or be with somebody or a partner that is really right for you they say and you can achieve of course whenever you're dealing with a karmic that's as far as i observe like you're always in here because somebody is pulling your leg in order for you not to reach the top 
So your inner child say that it's no time to leave this person. I feel like this person will one day receive a karma wherein no one will listen to this individual. Because all of them is just a facade, it's just a lie, okay? So yeah, this is your wake-up call to at least know your worth. They say, though this is a difficult journey for you, okay, um, you really have to learn how to detach, how to run away from people that are really trying to make you like this, okay, like stuck. Because this person is doing that to you in order for you not to find another lover because they want your money for themselves. They want you for themselves even though they're cheating. And it's, um, what do you call this? It's not right. You know, some people are like that. Like if you are in a relationship with this certain individual, let's say an example, you know, they forbid you to cheat. But on their end, they're cheating on you. That is also a form of injustice, unfairness, right? So you don't deserve that kind of person. If you're a loyal type, you deserve somebody who's loyal type, okay? That's what you need to learn, okay? You will know what is best for you if they mirror who you really are, okay? How you love. And if you're being mistreated, that is not the right people, okay? Now, anyway... These are your cards. So you got school and you also have counseling. So some of you, since this happening here is kind of stressful, some of you need somebody to talk to, okay? Because obviously this will hurt you. So some of you, this could be your friend that you trust, but yet they are not um, a good person for you. And I'm sensing here like you are a kind person. You're a giver too. And I feel like with this kind of experience, you have a good... I feel like you will be able to be an inspiration for others on how to overcome this kind of things. Because with the school and counseling, so yeah, you could be great for a counselor, a teacher for people that are on the same journey as you are. Okay, that is one of your hidden potentials or your life purpose on earth. So what they're trying to say is that you encounter this experience because some of you have this life purpose, okay? And that's the sad part sometimes. Like we encounter this difficulty, okay? But yet, embrace your life. Don't hate it because everything happens for a reason. And at least you know your purpose rather than not, right? Even though we wasted, let's say, years, months with this person, honestly, it hurts, of course. But I would say in following the footsteps of in the spiritual journey, though it's hard, though it's stressful, but in the end of the day, you know, you will be grateful. Because if you didn't encounter these things, you won't be who you are in the future. You won't be a great counselor or a great teacher for those people around you. Like you will have this wisdom. <clears throat> okay, suddenly I can't speak. So for some of you, you could be doubting your communication skills, okay? If ever that's the case situation, I will suggest you guys to, to read, okay? Read a book, at least one chapter per day, and speak it out loudly, okay? If ever you're shy that people are around you may hear you, then do that whenever you're alone at the house, okay? Or don't be shy, you know, just close the door and then read, okay? Um, while you're practicing, um, you will do great, I would say. In the beginning, it's just embarrassing, but once that you get used to it, you will be more confident on speaking. Because that is what you're meant to do. You're meant to be a teacher. You're meant to counsel others. You're meant to be a guide for people because you have been there and you understand how it feels like, right? Because honestly, to be a good counselor, you know, it's better that you you learn or you experience how hard it was so 
so that people will you know will feel the vibe that you're a welcoming energy that you will understand them because you have been through like with this kind of experience just like what they experience now okay i can hardly express guys so i feel like you need to work on with your self-confidence if you have low self-esteem i will suggest do you try to to be on youtube only with simple videos because in the beginning it's just a hard test every beginning but i would say once that you get through it you will be able to be great okay so remember you don't have to exert an effort so much in the beginning always in the beginning process that will be the critics and so forth don't mind those things it's just normal and people will support you honestly speaking they will say what you have to change and so forth accept those criticism as something positive to do well in the future so the angels say Keep a positive mindset, the angels say. Don't be overdrained by but what people will say. Because some of you, you could be in this kind of mindset that that you care about what other people will say. Avoid doing that. Because in doing the life purpose, they say to me, it is something very different. Okay? It is something that people don't expect you to do. It was like example, I felt drawn to share this. Example in Jesus' story. Okay, so Jesus was a preacher, a teacher. Okay, and people look highly on him. And when he go towards his hometown, what happened to him is that he, was got, he got criticized by people around him. Because people will say, hey, isn't it this, the person that, that is, you know, the son of a carpenter and whatever gossips that people are throwing to Jesus. So what they want you to know is that don't please others. Because in spirituality, most of our, let's say, relatives or close to us will not accept us. That's the harsh reality. But in doing this job on earth, in doing your life purpose, I will say it's a blessing. I would say, you know what, every day I will thank God for giving me this kind of job. Even though um, I may earn less with this kind of job, it's really fulfilling in my heart. I would say. Okay, and I always pray. Be thankful that he gave me a job because some people don't have a job. But at least I have a job. And it is something that, you know, is helpful for the world. And that's what I'm grateful about. At least in doing your life purpose, I will say you will be ready when you face the divine. Because some people, they're afraid of death. They're afraid to die because they know to themselves they haven't done their purpose. At least you, if you do your life purpose, you will be positive. You will be happy. You will experience joy in your heart. In your soul because you fulfilled your mission work on earth so embrace it don't be afraid okay and practice keep practicing your speech your momentum to build it up and take some time to heal because I will say this is not easy to heal whatever you've gone through okay and hugs to you all um, is there anything else angels they tell that's it so anyway thank you for watching those who chose seven and sending you all peace love and light bye hey guys for those who chose number eight which is a page of cups here is your reading so let's see what does your inner child wants to tell you number eight <clears throat> suddenly i'm having a hard time to speak i wonder why now anyway, this is the overall theme of this reading. So you got exchanging gifts. You also have blessed. You had time to go and between words. I don't know why I'm sensing flexible card. Also got new life. Breathe. And then flexible, speaking of flexible. Observer. 
So I feel like for some of you, you could be having a tower moment or a difficult situation, but your inner child wants you to relax due to the fact that you encounter these kind of circumstances in your life. Now we'll check with your cards, angels and guides. Please provide guidance to the cards so we may be able to know what does the inner child of number 8 wants to tell them. I don't know why I'm sensing that you want to be single um, for the rest of your life or for some of you, you really close off from a love partner. I feel like from love making too. I feel like you're deeply hurt and regretful about what happened between you and your partner. Um, that's the reason why it could be you're here in this reading, could be you're feeling depressed and you want a message from your inner child. Let's see, angels and guides. Oh, that's funny. We have a card here. What's this? Queen of Wands. Anyway, we'll just include that if it was included. <laughs> angels and guides. Please provide guidance to the cards so we may be able to know. What are the messages of the inner child of number 8 for them? Okay, I don't know what you have been through, guys, but I feel like during this time, you're being called on not to talk. Because in the beginning of your reading, I have a hard time to express myself, to speak. It just means that could be your soul chakra right now is blocked. Could be if ever you may speak, it might lead on to argument or to make the situation complicated with your partner. I feel like you have a partner or for some of you, you consider that as a partner even though you guys are in separation. So anyway, this is the overall energy that's affecting the reading. And I wonder why some of you don't want to be involved in a relationship anymore. Probably you encounter a traumatic experience with your partner okay but yet we will see we will clarify angels and guides please provide guidance to the cards so we may be able to know what's behind the cards presented here please help us clarify so we may be able to understand i have a feeling here that you are being misjudged by people around you could be the way that you treat others in the past. I feel like you're so lonely. You're very depressed. And you don't know what to do. You have anxiety. I feel like some of you could have trouble breathing. I wonder why I sense that as well. You could have a karmic partner that you used to have. And now you break up. I feel like your breakup with this person is terrible. Um, like it's a lesson learned from, I feel like from all of you. I feel like you realize what lesson you need to learn. I don't need to elaborate, but let's check. One more. Again, no need they say. So this is your overall energy that's affecting the reading. So your inner child say that you know, you're being blocked from reaching out to this person whom you just broke up to. That's what your inner child say. Because you have been stuck for a long time. It's not time for you to contemplate about what happened in your life in general. And you feel like not moving right now with the hangman here. Because this is what the divine wants you to do right now. Like you are in an awakening process. And... You could be thinking like your inner child will be your key towards what makes you happy. Yes, it's true. Like your inner child knows how to make ourselves happy. But now your inner child is saying, look within, okay? And admit your flaws and then change, okay? After this kind of process, you will realize that you know, you, it has to happen for you to become a mature person, for you to someday know how to treat others well or love each other. Because I feel here with these three of pentacles, 
could be you involve yourself in let's say a committed partnership and you offer this person your love even your money your effort and that's a reason why you're deeply hurt i feel like you're being called on to contemplate on why it happened on why the breakup needs to happen too because i feel like for some of you you have been in an argument with this person yeah it it was destroyed i feel like you're still looking at this one um i feel like you're still wanting to recover this connection that you guys had with this per wrong person they say and this is how you're feeling right now like something was removed to you that's why you have been crying so i'm reading this intuitively but the divine say that you know the truth already that without this person you know you won't be stressful because your connection is dramatic okay and trust the divine that you will have um a future spouse or a partner that is meant for you just need to overcome this sorrow that you feel right now and your inner child say that yeah you can do anything because it's time for you to mend whatever had happened and of course it's just normal in terms of breakups that you will have this hermit mode okay and yeah you really need to mend the swords that's in you and queen of pentacles here so i believe that guys in the future you may find your partner okay i believe that some of you could be in a twin flame journey for some of you and can be your twin flame could be waiting for you to come back or could be this is the past energy wherein they waited and then you chose someone else and i feel like you could be somebody who recognize that because of your mistake that's the reason why you encounter this kind of karma if it's not a twin flame journey it could be you know um you broke someone's heart in the past that's why it happened to you too and i feel like you admit your mistake somehow and i feel like you can't even blame the divine because of course karma happens right anyway so if ever it's not karma thing it's just for the best okay because you have to realize as well that the relationship that you have with this person that you just broke up is not good it's not resonating with you and this is the outcome so you could be greed um you could be with somebody in the past you just broke up with this person okay in the past that's really greedy okay and this person could be taking and taking from you but you haven't have anything in return so that's the reason why this person was removed and your inner child say that it's okay not to work during this time you're not in the mood you can't give something you might um can't work properly because you just are in this um process of depression and moving on and the angels say take your sweet time to heal and your inner child say that you know buy whatever you love to do it can uplift your energy try to i feel like don't focus on the wrong person this is just what um your lesson was telling you okay focus on the people that are giving towards you and not somebody that's really greedy and i will say to everyone it's better to give to the poor than to the greedy okay so that's the lesson that you need to learn number eight and number eight reminds me of infinity symbol and it also represents karmic so i'm sensing like yeah same pattern will happen guys if you guys will still hold on to the wrong partnership like it's a never-ending cycle of drama breakup and makeup and i feel like it's not time for you to move on they say to me and i feel like apologize the past because if ever you hurt somebody in the past i feel like the universe just make you feel how this person felt when you left without saying anything so now you realize that you shouldn't break people's hearts okay that's also the lesson that you need to learn there's a lot of scenario here number eight just take what resonates and leave what doesn't 
and could be right now you want to i feel like you also want to apologize from your past person and the past person could have a title um towards the connection could be your twin flame or soulmate i don't know but i don't really feel like you guys are meant to be together in this lifetime for the one that you just broke up with okay it could be you guys are planning to marry this person but it just didn't happen could be that person broke up with you and i feel like with this wish you could be wishing for you know this person probably guys this person that you are dating is the wrong person and you thought that is your wish in all honesty that is somebody who will make you learn your lessons okay and not to break people's hearts if ever you did in the past and you have paid the price okay and also it's teaching you to let go of any karmic patterns so that it may not repeat again in the future and it's not time for you with a with this one could be your emotions are overwhelming so now it's now time for you to heal and with this one i feel here that next time around in finding a partner they say to me don't base it on let's say the sexuality or whatever make sure that it's not only about passion make sure that there's love there you know love life is not only about passion that's also what you need to realize and also the thing that you need to learn too is you know to handle this kind of situation if ever you guys left someone in the past and exchange that person with somebody who's prettier or handsome you must learn too how to be practical or wise enough in finding a partner and it will help you one day if you will find another love life and with this i feel like your inner child say just go in with the flow of the divine you don't have to you know force things to happen again avoid forcing and forcing the outcome because sometimes it's not an alignment it's whatever the divine wants for us okay now let's see with your cards and again my throat chakra is hurting anyway probably you're not really allowed to speak with this person okay so because you just remove yourself from this toxic person and i feel like you could be somebody who really daydream of you know being with this person okay um i feel like you could have left somebody in the past and that's the reason why you encounter a karmic that made you experience um whatever your past person experienced with you i feel like some of you realize it and i feel like now you're regretful because it affected your future self and i feel here that could be no one is talking to you i feel like if ever you really left somebody in the past i think it's the reason the reason behind it is that you they believe as well that if ever you post this thing that you just encounter breakup they could have believed that it's because you left someone in the past and i'm sensing like um you could sense that no one listens to you because i can hardly express myself no wonder why your throat chakra is black because you're being told not to talk not to post something because no one will listen to you especially if you broke someone's heart in the past they will just say to you that it's your karma for hurting somebody in the past okay that's only for some of you now anyway these are the cards of flexible and observer so your inner child say that this has to happen so that you may find your partner you may the angel say so that you may be able to know um the thing that you need to consider with regards to finding a lover so make sure the chemistry is there make sure that you observe first or begin first as friends before you know making it as a relationship and by this kind of experience your inner child say it will be a new life for you it will actually make you happy without this person that's really dramatic and 
see this as somehow blessing okay that you don't have this partner anymore because could be you have been giving and giving and this person don't give what you deserve and with this page of cups so your inner child say that it's very important in finding a partner to begin first as friends don't ever rush being in a relationship okay because that could be also the reason why this connection is a failure and this could be your karmic because your karmic is teaching you how important it is to know about your person first before getting involved in a relationship okay because if you get involved yourself um in a connection with a stranger you don't know what you will get okay right and you're also learning how important it was to have this flexible or to have this chemistry with your person. It's not good that your connection is always fighting, okay? It's just normal to have a fight or argument in a connection, but it's not normal if it's happening most of the time that to the point that it's always dramatic in your connection, like it's not welcoming anymore and there's no more love there. You know, we are in a relationship because of love, right? So what's the use of a relationship? It's full of drama or full of stress. Like, if you think about it, you're more happier without a person that is very dramatic, okay? That's also what you need to realize, number eight. Now, anyway, these are your cards. So we have author, so your inner child say that during this time you have to journal what you learned or you could express whatever you learned from this or you can even write a book okay once that you overcome this kind of problem and suddenly i have bugs okay <laughs> i don't know why but whenever i encounter a bug during a reading could be some people are bugging you about it um or the person that you dealt with in the past is somebody who bugs and bugs you and your inner child say that you are more expressive during this time because right now you know whenever you feel upset or you're overwhelmed by your emotions that is when you start to be creative and try to change your focus into something that is fruitful okay and the next thing that we got is options so it's also teaching you on how to identify the right person for you so your inner child say that you know your inner child wants you to get involved with a partner that really truly resonates with you where in the chemistry is there where in your partner will give from will give for you okay not just only take then the next is spiritual teacher so for some of you you are meant to write your story or you're meant to be a teacher that's why you have to encounter these things so that you will be a great counselor for others and if not counselor in youtube you can be there for your friends that encounter the same thing and explain to them about this kind of thing so that they may not be able to do it to other people so you got the justice here so i think that some of you this could be your karma for you know hurting somebody in the past so it is justice you know the divine say don't ever hurt somebody don't ever plant bad seeds so that you know bad karma we may not you know come to you so the next is children and you also got environmentalists so your inner child say that do something to uplift your energy okay do something what makes you happy i feel like you have to embrace your inner child during this time and that is also will help you to be able to let go of this negative energy or negative emotions that you currently have and anyway the angels say to me that for some of you could want to apologize from your partner or the one who waited for you and the angels say they will give you a chance if it's the time and you know to yourself that you can't speak if it's not yet the time so don't rush in and you know learn to listen to your body body language 
because sometimes our chakras are black. The reason is because it's such a time to do certain things. Like example, if you know you shouldn't speak to someone, you feel like you can't speak at all. So respect that because that's also the sign of heaven that is at the time. Because right now, number eight, you know, your inner child say that right now you have to heal yourself. Okay, you don't have to rush things. And if you can focus on your work, the angels say take some time to heal. Okay, um, the depression, if you can't really handle it, then, you know, they advise you to have at least a day off. Okay, ask your boss for a day off okay or a vacation leave for some of you really need that because you can concentrate you're so sad is there anything else they tell that's it so anyway helps to you number eight and sending you all peace love and light bye